What's up guys, how are you today? How are you doing? Can you guys hear me alright? I'm gonna try one time here right quick. Come on. Can you guys hear me alright? Alright, that's cool. I heard myself. <clears throat> alright, so... All right, so real quickly, I just want to say uh, something here real quick. Um, if anybody is in the Steve Ross, Dana Jester class, shut the video, shut this off. Don't even like look at all, watch it later. Um, <clears throat> I was supposed to be there in uh, Indiana today. As a matter of fact, I bought plane tickets, got the hotel, rented a car, did all the stuff. Um, but some, some things happened and uh, and I, uh, I couldn't go. I couldn't go. So a couple of rough things happened. So I, I just couldn't make it there. And it, and it really sucks that I couldn't make it there. So, uh, but my good friend Bram is there holding the fort down for everybody. So, uh, yeah, I'm just uh, sad that I didn't, didn't get to go there. Maybe next time. Let me zoom this camera in real quick. So this ain't nothing special here. This ain't nothing special at all. Um, but what I wanted to do was, I wanted to uh, just like remake something here. Which was, you know, this painting here that was on the screen when you, uh, when I first started here. I want to uh, not duplicate it exactly, but I want to make something like that. And I want to make it for my father-in-law because he's always wanted a picture from me. And uh, he just happens to be in the hospital right now. And I don't even quite know how he's doing. But uh, his name is Gary. He's a good guy. Um, he came into my life when I was a very, very young person. And uh, just hoping that, uh, hoping everything goes all right with him. Hoping everything, hoping everything goes all right. All right, so all right, so I didn't do anything yet at all, and you're probably wondering about the wall mural thing over there. Um, I'm gonna pick up on that soon. I just I just had some uh, I had some things thrown at me that kind of threw me off course, but that's okay. It's all right because that's what. I am used to doing. I'm used to getting through different things in life and just uh, just being able to get through things. And that's what I always, it's my whole point of everything that I do is I try to let you guys know that no matter what happens, you know, you can, you can pull through anything. And it's a truth. It's a God's honest truth because I should just be laying in bed right now, to be honest with you. That is the truth. This is... Um, now this is liquid white here. This is the new stuff, which I do not like. Okay. All right. 
right? That's the new stuff right there. And I'm just gonna, I know I don't like it, but you can, you can make it work. And that's another reason I'm gonna use this here is because I, uh, I know I said that in a couple of videos and I didn't want anybody to get like discouraged. Like, oh no, I, I bought that, you know, the new stuff and I can't use it, you know? I, so I wanna change that real quick, even though I don't like it, I dislike this product, the new product in particular. I'll show you, we can use it. We can definitely use it. So I'm just gonna put some of that on here right quick. And, uh, I wasn't gonna do this one on, on a video, but you know what, I might as well. You know, maybe there's a few people that wanna watch, you know, maybe there's a bunch that don't either as well. So I figured for the ones that like to watch, I would just go ahead and do it. And uh, if you're watching on YouTube, that's what I titled this, Anxiety Relief, because that's exactly what it is. Um, and it's the truth. I don't just say this stuff. I, I don't just say it, you know, and just uh, hope that somebody else, it works for somebody else. I, I, this is what anxiety relief is. If I didn't do this right here, if I didn't do this right here, uh, yeah, I can't say it anymore. I just, I wouldn't even be here. I, w I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I just wouldn't. No doubt. No doubt. But... What this will do, um, even like a quarter of the way through, this will, you know, from the past videos and my experiences, this changes who I am. Um, and, and that's what I like a lot. I like how this can change me, not change who I am, but it changes my, it just changes my whole mode. So, but yeah, so I'm just spreading this around right here. And like I said, this is just that, that liquid white. It's the new product. And I, I personally don't, didn't like it, don't like it. Um, just because it just doesn't feel the same as the old product, but I'm just going to hear, I'm going to show you, I'm just going to use it and I have a bunch of it. So, um, I used it on the wall the other day and I'm going to use it here and I'm going to use it in some other videos as well. So, so I'm just going to spread some of this on here right quick, you know, and if you guys, if, if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed, you know, go ahead, subscribe, you know, um, if, that's if you like the. If you like the content, if you like the videos that I'm making, subscribe. If you don't like them, block me. It's, you know, there's that option there too. So, um, it's definitely whatever, whatever you feel. It's your life. But if you are new here, um, I make videos and show. Um, I just try to show people that you can do different things to help yourself, help yourself feel better, feel better about yourself, um, without harming yourself, or in some cases, without you know being all doped up by doctors and I say that lightly I'm not a doctor and anybody who takes medication you know can I'll you know take it continue it don't ever stop taking your medication without professional help but uh, my personal opinion is in some cases and it's a very fine line and a wide variety here but in some cases you don't um, you don't need certain things example you know uh, five six years ago I would have resorted to Valium right away immediately um, that's what I, you know, in this situation I'm in right now, absolutely. I would have drowned myself in that and, you know, just been out of it. But instead, here we, you know, we fast forward ourselves, and uh, this is, uh, this is what I resort to. Hello, nice to meet you. Okay, here we go. First smile of the day. Ugh. First smile of the day, I just threw my paintbrush. So here we go. All right, all right. <laughs> Excuse me. And that's how it. And that's how it happens, right there. You know, I was. Uh, here we go, cracking a smile. So, all right. And I normally do this before I start the video, but some some people may want to see this. Somebody might be new at this, you know. And once again, if you're if you just happen to be, a lot, there's a lot of people down in uh, Winchester, Indiana, right now, and uh, yeah. That's like, that's where the painting and that's where the instruction is at over there, you know? I miss them guys for sure. And I'm just super, super sad that I just couldn't be there. Maybe next time, right? Maybe next time. Should always be a next time. You know, and like I said, um, People, you know, about the whole medication thing. Deborah, I, I see what you're writing. And that's why I say it's a, such a fine line. And I'm, I'm using myself for a reference. And that's why I never recommend anything like that. 
to somebody else. You know, there's a, there's a lot of things that medication is needed for, and I'm a logical, I'm a logical thinker. I think with an open mind. Painting doesn't cure everything, but it has cured quite a bit for myself. And I, I say that it's, you know, the, one of the large, large reasons that I'm able to stand here and speak to you today from the planet Earth. So what I just did real quick is I just wiped some of that off. Did you see that with the paper towel? I just, I swatted it. I just, oh my goodness. Um, the only other thing I can say to you real quickly, this is probably important. Um, if you have any expensive like electronics or anything below your canvas, uh, you know, anywhere below it within two feet and you're using this product, be careful because I, I just covered this. I have a, uh, I have a new, a brand new iPhone I got and I just, I covered it. It's covered in liquid white. So little disclaimer, be careful. You don't ruin anything. Okay. So I just wiped it off. All right. Should be good. If not, that's okay. Who needs a phone? All right, so that was probably a, that was a boring part. I made the decision to just do that on on video. I don't know why, but you see, you could just do one of these numbers here. Just wipe it around. It'll pick up the excess stuff, the oils, the whatever is in here. I'm not quite sure, but you see this this pro. You can't see anything what I'm seeing, but this product here doesn't really absorb into the canvas like the other one does. So I'm not quite sure. I don't know what's going on with it. You know, for all I know, it's great. I have no idea. So be careful, you know, with stuff like that, you know, taking my word <clears throat> on something. Um, I just operate off of a feeling all the time. And my feeling is always right. I proved myself that, but everybody's different. I don't hate the product. I just can tell you that I have old liquid white in front of me also. And if I, uh, if I put that on, I guarantee it would be a different, uh, different scenario here but the outcome will still be the same the picture should be the same you know and that's it okay so i hope you guys are doing well if you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe right now if you don't mind um you know i'd love to have you here for as long as i remain here you know could be 10 years could be could be 15 years you know could be a couple days we don't know so you don't know I sure as hell don't know. I'm going to get a small one inch brush right here. And uh, how's the picture? Does the quality look okay to you guys? Just, you know, just let me know real quick. I, I, I've been trying to work on video. Oh man, that's in focus. You can see my horrible face. Oh wow. Yeah, okay, never mind. I need to answer that. Picture's clear. I should put a little like a uh, softening app on or something like that, you know? Okay, looks good, looks good. Okay, guys, I have, uh, if if anybody's watching on YouTube, I think I have the, I have, two, no, Facebook. I have two Facebook pages. One is the uh, studio page, and then the other one's just my page. I'm doing it from both of those pages. And why did I just tell you that? I don't have a freaking clue why I just told you that. Here's my palette right here, all the good colors on here. And uh, all the same colors I use. The only thing I have different is I did put phthalo blue, phthalo green, and, uh, and that looks to be it. But the other picture had, the other picture I used, I started off with a little bit of crimson. And so let's do that again. Let's use a one inch brush here. But yeah, so. Uh, Let's go ahead and just uh, do something like this here. Let's see. Yeah, started off with some alizarin uh, crimson right here. And if anybody is in Indiana, tell Steve and Dana I said hello. And uh, tell them, you know, sorry I couldn't be there, which they already know that. They already know that. But uh, yeah, I really just wish I could. Uh, I re really wish I could have went. I mean, I, I wasted, uh, you know, 
probably like 1500 bucks or whatever, but you know, shit happens. Um, unfortunately, unfortunately it does and it did, but I'm here. But yeah, I hope my father-in-law does. I hope he, you know, I hope he is able to get better and, and just get the hell out of the, uh, hospital. Cause he's a good guy. He, um, hell, when I was 17, 18 years old, you know, he, um, he moved up here from Pittsburgh and me and him started working together. You know, I had, uh, this crazy venture I had going and starting at a young age and he was in the same field, you know, um, all his life. And it was just a, a weird coincidence how that worked out. And, uh, he worked with me for, for many years. He's just a good guy. He's a good guy. So, all right. So I started off with crimson and I, and then I went in with phthalo blue and, and the blue will eat up the crimson. So I'm putting a little extra in there, you know, <clears throat> I think I want to yeah and I might just take my time a little bit I don't I don't know I know uh, the other day when I was doing the uh, the mural on the wall I just happened to look down and somebody was like I forget exactly what they said but they were like you're too slow I can't take this or, or it was something like crazy and I just like choked for a minute you know I just literally choked so um, if this is too slow for anybody you know feel free to not watch or you know whatever all that stuff but uh, so again I'm just making this for my father-in-law who needs all the positivity that he can get right now and that's what I'm doing <clears throat> all right I'm gonna grab Prussian blue here. Yeah, so I'm just going to use Prussian blue here. Hmm. Oh yeah, I was just looking down at some of the comments. You know, I didn't even call. I didn't even call um, the airlines or the anything, Sherry. I maybe I will, you know. But uh, thanks for the heads up, because I'm not the uh, I'm not the smartest person, so. I wouldn't have, I probably wouldn't have thought of that, but um, maybe I will give them a call. So look, I got Prussian blue here on the one-inch brush, and I'm going to zip that across the top here. I don't. There's something peaceful about these colors, this color combination, in my opinion. Let me know if you agree. Hey, and feel free to share the video if you'd like to. Um, it's up to you. It only takes a you know a little a finger push and a, you know, something else. But if you'd like to share the video, that'd be great. You know, I try to reach more people and I try to reach more people because of the emails that I get. And if you're somebody who on here who has privately, you know, wrote an email to me, um, I've definitely, I read every single email that comes in and some of the stories that come across the emails, um, Number one, they're heart. Some of them are just heartbreaking, okay. And some of them are very, very inspiring um, in regards to somebody that may be thanking me for for certain things or watching the videos and stuff like that. And that's why my point is that's why I ask you to share the video or do this or do that because I I would like to reach more people. You know, I don't know how long I'm going to be here doing this. I really don't. Um, I'd love to do this type of thing forever but the truth of the matter is I don't know so the more people I reach the better chance that I, that I have you know what I mean and that's just uh, another fact so I'm gonna add some more much more blue in there I, I just I don't ask just because uh, you know because I want you to waste your time and do that but I ask for a reason there's everything I ask where there's a specific reason behind it you know I take things very seriously with uh, But yeah, I have no clue. No clue. I'm just, uh, I'm just dripping this, uh, th what is this? This is Prussian blue down into the crimson. And then I'm going to figure out what looks balanced or, or whatever. And I'm just kind of just whatever. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just having some anxiety re relief. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. That's the truth. God's honest truth. Okay. 
I would like to spend the rest of my life helping people, you know, with this here, you know, with, uh, this is what I would like to do for the rest of my life. But, you know, we will see what happens there. And we're going to find out real soon to be, you know, to be more precise. We're going to find out real soon if that's going to be the case or not. It's a lot of work doing this stuff. And it's, uh, it's a lot of work that I, that I like doing. I really like doing this stuff. I have a, uh, I have a natural, genuine uh, passion about trying to do something, you know what I mean, so, for people. And, you know, not everybody's going to like me out there. I get, you know, I get shit comments and shit messages all the time. I had a, you know, I had a guy recently tell me that um, I should make a video and uh, hang myself the right way you know, stuff like that, I get those, and, but, but the majority of the people like, I think they like what I'm doing, and I'm going to keep doing that, as long as the good way outweighs the bad, then I'm going to keep rolling, you know, and when you do become down, and you get, start getting stressed out, or anxiety, or some bad things happen, you start to think about those other things, and that's probably why I even said that, you start thinking about the people, you know, that message, and say, you're worthless, and your piece of garbage and stuff like that those thoughts start to pop in and before you know it you know I'm flying over to here to try to make something because I, I know this is going to make me feel a certain way and I know that and that's why I'm here I'm here doing this like that's exact that's exactly why because I'm in no shape to, to paint a picture right now it's just you know it's internally I'm not mentally I'm not but I know that once I do this it changes things like I smiled already because I dropped my paintbrush like that wouldn't have happened I'm not here to even teach painting I don't think I just I don't even know what I'm here for to be honest with you I can teach you some stuff probably but I don't think that's even my goal you know I really don't I don't know what it is yet and I'm just I'm learning as I go because this is all still so new to me if you think about it if you've been here follow me for this ride you know it's not it hasn't been extremely that long I'm just blending this out. This brush has nothing on it, okay? Just blending this out a little bit, just getting like the, the brush strokes and stuff out. And then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna darken up the corners a bit, I think. You know what I mean? Okay, I'm gonna darken the corners up. So I could probably just use the, uh, the one inch brush here that I was using. And I'm gonna take, uh, what's this color? I'm gonna grab, I got some midnight black down here on the uh, the palette, so I just grabbed a little bit of that. I like darkening the corners, you know? I, I don't know why. I have no clue why. I don't know if it, if it makes it look different, better, the perspective is better. I don't know. I really don't know what it does, but being up front with you, I, I'm just being honest with you, I have no clue. And sometimes I drag it over towards the center a little bit, you know, darken this up, and then I'll blend this out a little bit. All right, so let's see, we have that right there. You guys probably know what that does more than I do. You know, you guys most likely know more about painting than I do. And you know, there's a lot of things that, you know, you're gonna know more about than, than I do. So that's why I say, I don't even think I'm here to teach painting. I think I'm here to show, I think I'm here to show you that a, um, a severely damaged person, um, there's still hope for the severely damaged, you know? That, I think that's what, I think that would be more fitting. There's hope out there if you're severely damaged. Because uh, I am, you know, I'm severely damaged inside. You know, and that's, the, that's a fact, and uh, there's hope. So I think that's what it is. I believe that's what it is. In case anybody's wondering. And Krista, thanks, thanks for being here, you know. I'm trying to glance down at the comments if I can, but I'm, I wanna focus on this, you know. But thank you for being here, Krista. You, you're helping out with so much stuff all the time. And I appreciate you. And Steve, Steve's here. Old Steve, where you at? I saw you somewhere up there. I saw a few people in there. All right, so I have, uh, hmm, how do we do this? Let's see. 
I was just wondering, I'm gonna wipe this one inch brush off here right quick and Hey, is the music in the background too loud, guys? Or is it nice and peaceful and relaxing? Because I sure as hell can't hear it. I'm not supposed to hear it, that's the point. I just want to know if it's decent or not. Okay, I'm just sitting here wiping this brush off like it's going out of style. I'm gonna try something here with, let me get a little bit of, uh, of the phthalo blue color. Uh, hmm, I don't know. I don't know if that's a good idea or a bad one. So I'm just popping some of this. I don't know, this looks a little bit more like life, you know, like a bright. I got to blend it out still, so don't let this fool you here. I'm just going to pop hell of it. I'm just going to, since it's here now, I'm just going to pop some of it in. See what it does. You know, I like being able to spend a few minutes uh, doing a sky rather than, you know, fly through it in a couple of minutes. You know, uh, speed is, is great to have that. And there's like, sometimes when I do demonstrations, if I've done live demonstrations, like you paint a picture in 25 minutes and you know, that's cool and that's great. And I've done that a number of times. Um, is it my favorite? Probably not. Probably not. I just like being able to like kind of feel the picture, you know? I don't even know if that makes sense to, to anybody, but it's it makes sense to me for sure. I like to be able to feel what's going on. If you know me in real life, if this is real life, you'll know that everything I do goes off of like a feeling. I uh, base everything off of feelings. If it feels right, that's it. That's what I do. All right, I think that uh, I think that's awesome-ish or better. I gotta don't worry about this little thing right there in the middle. That's for a reason. Yeah, I think that's legit. I think that's the ticket right there. What do you think? <laughs> Right. But you know, back to the thing earlier that I, we were talking about, or I was talking about, that, you know, when it comes to like doctors, medication, that's why I, I clearly always say stuff like, you know, never stop any of that stuff. Do your thing, you know what I mean? See your doctor, all that. Um, I guess what I'm trying to say there is, you know, I always say it's never, it's never too late, right? And I mean that it's never too late. If you're feeling something, if you're feeling like you want out, if you're feeling like that time is coming close, you need to stop what you're doing and you need to reach out to somebody. And I'm not even joking. Um, and I, I wish that I was, I wish I had done that. You know, you have to reach out to somebody. You have to. Okay. Like I try to really use myself for, for an example, because if I could go back to that time, I literally felt like a waste of space. I thought everybody hated me, you know, and not that weight has to do anything, you know, with it, but I was, you know, I was up there, okay? I was up there, I just hated ev everything about myself. And I was certain back then that it was time, you know, it was just time and I couldn't take it anything and at all anymore. But my life was just ruined. And let's just, fa my point was fast forward, right? All, all this time, I would have never thought in a million years that I would be standing here, you know, doing a picture like like this and, and trying to talk to somebody else about it. Um, it's almost like something that just seemed just virtually impossible. Like that's not even correct. It's not, not on this, not in this world, you know, but it, but it happened. And I practically feel like I beg people, like, please, please listen to me. Because if it happened to me, it can happen to, you know, anybody. And it's not like this is just magic just happened. Like, painting, uh, I started painting on the worst day of my life, and it, it changed my thoughts. It changed my thought process, and my thought process changed my future, you know. So, like, like I said today here, I shouldn't be here doing this. I shouldn't be painting a picture. I should be home. I should be feeling upset, and I should be laying in bed, which I had started to do that and I got myself up. All right, 
it's possible. Um, I'm going to put some clouds in. So I'm going to take a fan brush, take a number three, number three fan brush here. There we go. But yeah, things, uh, listen, things get me down. So, you know, I'm human. I let things, you know, sometimes bother me and I try to control it. Like, I'll give you an example. Like, so, so many people says this is good what I'm doing here. This is great, right? Well, you know, you, you go on the internet and you click on YouTube or something like that and you find these videos about like somebody spying on their wife cheating or, or I don't know, something, you know what I'm talking about, like crazy stuff like that. And there's like millions of people watching. You know, it seems like all the bad, in my opinion, like the bad, horrible type of videos, there's like millions of people watching. You have a video about like, you know, really trying to help somebody get through a hard time. And I mean, listen, all of you guys are super important to me, right? That's why I'm all even here doing this, but like, there's a big difference, you know? There is a big difference in the viewership, like when it comes to stuff. So sometimes I would think like, oh, well maybe I should just, maybe I should just make bad videos. Like, you know, bad, like, I don't know, like jumping off a roof or something, like something dumb like that, you know? And uh, my point is those are the things sometimes that will bother me, you know, that then they just do. You know, because if I had like millions of people watching these videos, it would be a no, like a no-brainer. I would be able to do this all the time, every day, seven days a week, but I can't. And uh, I've recently, I've recently accepted that. You know, so here I am. I'm just making some. Uh, cool hello yeah I heard you I hear you loud and clear all right I'm just making uh, I'm making clouds here okay well 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 well, well. Tracy says there's uh, there's 20 people my thing says 60. What about you, Krista? What does yours say? <clears throat> Mine says that there's 60. I could be wrong, too. Um, and and it's, it's so crazy because that don't even matter to me at all, at all anymore. It's like as long as this group of you guys that are in here, that's all I care about. Like, the, you know, the standard group of the stand, always, the, you know, the people that are here. You guys have became like my just, you know, awesome network of, of people. And to be honest, like that's a huge part of why. I turn the camera on because I know you guys will be there and it's just cool. Like, it's really awesome to have that. And I love you guys a lot. And I know you know that. So, but, and another thing is this, it's not about, I, I thought about this too, like in one of my days where I was like having trouble, it's not about, it's not about, you know, whether there's a million people or a hundred people watching. It's about, it's about that one person that needed to see it, right? That's what it's about. I wish I was, I wish I had seen it back in the day. I wish I was one of those people. All right, I want to show you something real quick here. Um, this is a cheap brush from Lowe's right here, okay? This is just a little garbage piece of brush. All right? Okay. I'm going to blend these clouds with this. And it doesn't, like, listen, tools and equipment don't really matter. I'm not going to smear my fingers all over this canvas because this is for my father-in-law and uh you know i don't want to do that that's for a time and place for that but look like this i bought this at lowe's one day okay and uh i'm gonna blend this oil paint with it this oil oil paint here we go so look i'm just gonna blend it with this cheap this is like two bucks this brush all right i'm just gonna blend these clouds out just take a minute and do it i'm just taking my time guys all right so, if, uh, you know, if you're looking for uh, something that's a little bit quicker, I have a ton of other videos on the internet. Go watch one of them or, you know, go watch one of Bob's or something like that. So, I'm just blending this with a Lowe's brush, okay? And I'm going to, and I'll come back and I'm going to add some, some, you know, color to it. My theory in life is... If I can introduce to people, 
if I can show people how to paint without getting frustrated, okay, that's the biggest, that's the key right there. Show them how to paint without being frustrated. Um, that right there is going to make some huge changes in their life. And that's what I think. If I can show you how to paint without being frustrated. Okay, all right, so I got some of this stuff blended real quick, right? Now, before I go full crazy, I'm gonna, well, I'm not going full crazy or nothing anywhere. I'm just gonna get a little bit more white on the, uh, the brush here. And like I did, I saw something here, right? So I wanna make sure I capture that real quick. It's a lot of paint. Um, I just wanna add that little thing here that I just, I don't know where I, how I saw it, but I saw something. And I gotta put a little a fluffiness right here. This guy has to be more fluffy. And maybe a little tail there. Okay, going that way. Um, you know, whatever, just all kinds of stuff here you can do. So I'm just adding a little bit more color there, and then I'll go back to my, to my Lowe's brush. But I'm telling you, you can't be frustrated. You, you, you can't be frustrated doing this. You can't, and that's why, like, to... I mean, you, if you know me, you know this, like, you know, the videos that I do where I run my hand across the painting, or hey, how about that, how about that mountain I painted with the roll of tape, huh? Were you here for that one, anybody? Like, those are the things that I'm trying to show, like, you can do those things, like, I still have the roll of tape right here. I keep it close to me, see? Got the, still got the paint stained on it, all right? I painted that mountain with that stuff, you know? with that where with that roll so I'm just still blending this out a little bit but it doesn't my point with that was like you don't need certain tools because people ask me about my oh when is your brush is going to be available I don't know like don't you know don't hold your breath you know what I mean and that's like I keep saying that from the you know that's a manufacturer's problem I can't get them is what I'm saying so don't hold your breath. Get a Lowe's brush, you know? All right, so. Let's see here. I'm going to set the uh, Lowe's brush down real quick, and I'm going to just grab a another two-inch dry one. And i got to just real quick wipe. Hold on. I just got to wipe my face off because I got something on my face <laughs> it to me without being able to see it tastes like titanium white with a touch of alizarin crimson in there all right a little bit bitter uh what am i doing two inch brush another two inch do i want another one or can i use this one hmm i might be able to use this one here let me see this one is the one that i already blended the sky with. Hold on, let me really grind it. Let me grind it and let me give it a quick bob over here, a little. <laughs> I, love, I do love doing that. I don't do that on videos, but you can be assured I beat the living hell out of these brushes when I'm not on video. Thanks, Bob. I always say it too. I always do this. Look, you can't see that here. I always go like this. I take the brush, and I'm painting, and I do whatever, and I go, thanks, Bob. I, even when I'm by myself, I talk to myself, so I don't, I'm weird. I don't give, I don't care. So I'm lifting up on these, lifting up, lifting up. You know, go side to side and we'll swat them. about right a little hair in here yeah it's good it's working out see I'm just lifting it up
if you get anything up here, you just, you know, just twirl it a little bit, you know? That's all. Yeah, that's about right. I'm just gonna blend this real quick and just step back, blend it a little bit more and have a look at it. But while I'm doing this, let me just say this real quick. Here's a fact for you. Um, I am definitely, you know, I'm feeling um, much different already, okay, than I was when I even started the video. And especially since like this morning or something like that. There's a huge difference taking place and going on, so stuff is no joke. It really isn't. Let's see what I got here. What's that? No joke. They like said, I wish, uh, I wish this would have been in my life years ago. You know, who knows where I would be at today? You know, not that that even factors any of my decisions or thinking or whatever, but I'm just saying, like, you never know where I would be, you know? I would have much less scars on me, I can tell you that much. Much less scars. So, the hope is for somebody else to take advantage of that, you know? See, I'm just lifting it carefully, lifting, and just figuring out areas that I wanna just soften the hair, like make little, uh, you know, some areas like little clouds, little floaty things here and there, you know? Okay. I mean, I can live with this so far, you know what I mean? I can live with it so far. All right, let's see here. Let just get, I gotta give a twirl here real quick. A couple of brush marks in here. Hmm. All right, all right. Oh man, hold on. One second, just gotta wipe uh, this off again. I got paint flying on my phone. One of my phones, I have another phone over here. I don't even know if you can see it. trying to look down at some comments you know if I can I know I'm missing a ton of them and uh, if, you, if you're asking me any you know if you're asking any questions directly especially on like Facebook I may you know I may miss the comments okay so please don't I don't want you to feel like any certain way you know because I probably I'm missing them like I know if you're if you're on YouTube you know there's a better chance there's you know, Krista's over there and she knows like the answers to quite a few questions um, and Steve's there and, you know, um, so yeah. How many times am I going to say, um, putting a little extra special touch on this, you know what I'm saying here? Want the old man to like this. And that's, uh, I call him the old man. That's what I say. I say, when I see him, I'm like, hey, what's up, old man? How you doing, old, old man? Good dude. Good, good guy. Oh, I just, uh, da, 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 da. yes, Jer I see that Jerry's Art, uh, who's that, Rose. Yeah, Jerry's Artorama, yes. Yep, um, we have stuff that we still have to do. Um, we have to connect with a few certain, you know, certain things, but if, uh, yeah, Jerry's Artorama is like, they actually, they just care about the artist. They care about you. They care about the individual artist. And that's what I like about them, you know? And I've always, like, it's interesting because I've always shopped and bought stuff at Jerry's. I've always bought stuff there. And it's just amazing that, you know, one day they, like, you know, one of the main people, I don't, you know, like one of the high, high up, like the corporate people, good guy, his name's Michael, he reached out to me. He's a fantastic guy he's amazing amazing dude 
he reached out to me and I was just like, whoa, you know, started, uh, I just, you know, I think one of the first things I said when he reached out, I said, listen, um, I think you have the wrong, I think you have the wrong guy. Like, I think, uh, I think you're looking for another Justin, you know, another Justin who paints pictures because like the description just, I don't know, it's hard. I couldn't accept that, <laughs> what he was saying. It was so, such good stuff, you know. They care about the artists. And uh, yeah, no, this is cool. I like this. And once again, if there's anybody new that's coming on, that's like on the borderline of like writing something like, I take too long to paint clouds. That's not the case. I could have done these clouds and sky within the first 60 seconds of the video, but this painting is for my father-in-law who's laid up in the hospital and could use all the positivity and prayers that he needs right now. I'm making this for him. So, you know, whether or not I blended these clouds for six hours, I don't think that really matters to me. And I only say that for, <laughs> because the one guy told me that I forget exactly. It was something along the lines of, oh, this is horrible. You're too slow. You know, you need help or something. May I see your arm tattoo? Well, I'll just, where's that? It's upside down, but you just gotta be creative. There's that one and there's, I got them all. If I can get some of this stuff to heal on my horrible skin, I'm gonna have way more tattoos everywhere. And it's all my work is gonna be going on me, all of my work. All right, let's see here. What do we got? Thanks, Krista. Krista, I was referring to the one guy. I don't know if you saw it because it was like a, I think it was a Facebook comment. Maybe he did. It was just stupid is what it was. It was just stupid. I shouldn't even, uh, I should have saw it and just said, ah, whatever. Because people that actually, you know what? I, I always failed to remember this. People that sh like trash me, I should never get upset. And I'm going to tell you why people that trash me are the people that need the, you know, the most help out there and not just trash me, but like somebody else. So, you know, remember that if somebody, if somebody's like really being ignorant to you or like, you know, just saying all kinds of bad stuff, you should offer help to that person. Maybe pray for them or something. You know what I mean? Because it's the truth. They're struggling as you know, and all they have to offer is bad vibes because that's all they know they don't know anything else so before you judge somebody just think of those things okay it's a fact it is a fact people struggle all the time so you know and it's like I uh, I was one of those people I never used to say things like that back in the day but you know I remember I would see uh, some like I would see some family like doing good at the soccer game or something back in the day and I'd be like Phew, must be nice you know must be nice and um, that was because I hated myself in my existence now when I see a family or like a good marriage I am just like I can't tell you it's the greatest feeling in the world it's just such a great feeling when I see that like an actual like I can sense goodness like that I can sense a good marriage I can sense a good family, you know? So, yeah. So I'm trying to glance down a little bit when I can. YouTube is where I can see most of the stuff. I can see a little bit on Facebook. Um, but yeah, this is uh, this was a Bob Ross easel when it was brand new. I bought it, I got my saws all out, I hacked the hell out of it, and I, just, I modified it, you know, just whatever. But yeah, my man Bob, you know, my man Bob's right there. Um, I just had to, originally his name was across here and I had to take that off because the company had, an issue, had issues with that. So I'm gonna make a, a mountain here. Hmm. Thank you, Michelle. I am so glad that you found this stuff. I am so happy that you found this stuff because it's, it's no joke. It is no joke. I'm going to use, I think I'm going to try to use midnight black. All right. I'm going to try to use midnight black 
and a little bit of Prussian blue, possibly. All right, something like that. No, midnight, yeah. Midnight black, Prussian blue. So for short, I want to call it midnight blue, if that would be a thing. The reason I say that about um, any, you know, any of the trash talkers or whatever, because even like, you know, even myself, like when somebody says something mean or whatever, it like gets to me, you know, it gets to me, but I, I always fail to remember, I just forget like, you, you know, why does that person say that, you know? You have to really think about that, like, you have to really just think about it. Why would, why would somebody tell me, why would somebody write me, not even not even comment. Why would somebody write me a message and say, I have a video idea for you. You need to hang yourself, but you only need to do this different. You actually need to do it the right way or something like who in the hell would say something like that? Somebody who's hurting. It's the truth. So, you know, don't let stuff like that hurt you or ruin you. I'm just mixing this color right quick. Well, I'm glad that you guys are here on Facebook and YouTube. You know, I do appreciate it. And let's just talk about the elephant here in the room. Has it, how many people, I mean, honest to God, like, okay, we, I live, I'm living, it's, I got reality happening, life, there's still issues going on. How many people can tell the difference in my tone of voice since I started the video to now? I mean, be real. Tell me, like, have you noticed the difference in my attitude, my demeanor, or have you not noticed? I mean, be, let's just, let's be real about this for a minute. You know, I have some legitimate things going on right now that are just not good. You know, if you can't see the difference, I'm just, I just hope you can, because that should inspire you to want to pick up a paintbrush, a Lowe's paintbrush if you want to. I mean, come on. All right. Okay. So. My father-in-law, he is, uh, he loves hunting. And uh, I respect that even though I hunted uh, once in my life. And I told this story before. I was in the woods and it was my first time ever hunting. And this was many, many years ago. And I had a bow and arrow and I was sitting in a deer stand, a, uh, a tree stand and deer you know they came in this group of deers came in and I was like my heart started pumping like craziness okay and I was like oh, this is my chance right here this is my chance I got this I got this and I was so pumped and my father-in-law he introduced to hunting to me okay so I get going I'm just like all psyched up and yes I'm like happy or whatever you want to call that um, what's that word I'm looking for like I don't know anyways so I'm sitting there Deer gets in position. I pull the bow back. I pull the, uh, the the bow back and got him in the sight, and I let go of the bow. It uh, the the arrow shoom, goes flying right, and it sticks. It stuck right in the side of the deer, and the deer just like did some weirdness and made a noise, and he fell and he hit the ground. And most people, that's like a celebrate, like, yeah, I got the deer, right? Well, me, I almost fell out of the deer stand. I literally almost fell out of the deer stand. And I, here's what I remember. I went down, I got down and I went over. I went to the deer and I went over. He was laying, she or whatever was a doe, laying on the side. And I just looked over and the deer like looked up at me and I just, this is what I heard. I heard... This poor deer was just like, why did you do that? I was just trying to eat or something like that. And look, I don't even, I'm not even going to lie. I freaking, I broke down. I, I don't think I've ever cried so hard in my life in the middle of the woods ever. Um, I never cried. So I don't think I've ever cried that hard. In my, I'm not even joking. Like laugh if you want at me. I do not care. I broke down just like unbelievable and worst time of my life worst time of my life and anyways so I like reached down and I was like just petting the deer and just you know just doing all that stuff and uh, oh man I hate even talking about it. it makes me like feel like I want to cry now um 
from that day forward, from that day forward, never, ever, ever again, never hunted ever again. I don't mind. I, I respect people that do that, but never, ever, ever did I hunt again. And I never will. But like I said, I know that it's necessary, right? Um, you have the circle of life that takes place and all those things. And you have, you know, people hunt. And I, res you know, I'm not against people that hunt, okay? Is what I'm trying to say. But I have a different thing when it comes to animals. That's the truth. Uh, maybe one of these times I'm going to roll a clip for you. I have, there was, I noticed a, uh, and, and I live like in the woods, okay? I live in the woods. I noticed a raccoon, you know, just kind of like coming around at nighttime, not doing anything, just kind of walk, moseying around the woods, like around the back and in the, in the back uh, yard area. And long story short, it took, uh, it took about two weeks, but now I have this raccoon. Okay. I have this raccoon will walk up to me. I have videos of this will walk up to me and literally like rub against me and sit on me and like rubs his head and stuff like that. This is like one of the coolest things I've ever witnessed in my life. And it took a few weeks to get close to this guy. Um, but now he's just like my close friend, you know, this raccoon is like my close friend. And I'm, I'm just grateful that I was able to, you know, to meet him and just kind of like, I'm just grateful for that. So I'll have to show you the videos of, of this raccoon and I'm just so close to animals. Um, I had a squirrel that was hanging around like outside. There was a nest in a tree. I have a squirrel um, and I have videos and I have pictures of this too. This squirrel would come in and he would get on my paintbrush. Um, and I have a picture, a distinct picture like this. I'm painting a picture. I'm holding the filbert brush like this. And the squirrel is on the uh, paintbrush. And, and darn it, I wish I could show you right now, but I, I don't have a, it would take me a minute to upload it real quick, but I don't want to waste time like that while I'm doing this. Awesomeness. I have a thing for animals and uh, my family knows that. My family definitely knows that of anybody. I just have a way with animals, you know, straight up, straight up the truth. <laughs> And animals can, they can see, there's something that I can, they can tell with me. They can, they can definitely tell. And I'm, and I'm confident saying that. Animals can tell. Excuse me, I was checking the, uh, I was checking the battery on the, on the camera. <clears throat> but yeah, man, animals, they are key in life. Animals can tell us many things. They can tell us uh, things like when the weather is going to change rapidly, stuff like that, you know. And uh, yeah, that's right. I have a goose. I got a goose. Eight years I've had her. Yep, I have the goose. No, I, and I had another goose, Krista, but that's a story I'll have to tell another time because that was heartbreaking. Um, that was such a heartbreaking experience, the second goose that I had. Um, I have all the... Uh, I have all the video, the phone calls and everything. I, I think in the future I'm going to expose this company because they're a million dollar organization. And um, yeah, I don't even want to talk about it. But, uh, but my one goose, you're right, Krista, my one is just like amazing. Eight years I've had her. So I'm going to just scrape a little bit more of this color off real quick, actually. I'm going to do this. So my... Um, my father-in-law, he he liked going uh, to the mountains every year. Him and my and my brother-in-law they go out and they go hunting every year. And I was thinking about some of the mountains that would be out there. They may not be like this big or whatever, but way out in like uh, a place called Cook's Forest, out in uh, where the heck is it? I want to say uh, Pennsylvania. I mean, it's definitely Pennsylvania, but I thought it was like on the borderline of Ohio, but it was called Cook's Forest. And I, and I, like I said, I went there once and I have a picture. It was like, Lord, it was so many years ago, 2006 or seven or eight. Um, and uh, I will never show the picture of me there because 
Wow, that was a different lifetime. <laughs> but anyways, the mountains, I want to, they could be this big out there. I don't know. So I'm just making some, uh, whatever, some stuff here. All right. And I'm just having fun, just messing around. You know what I mean? But um, before I started this painting, I didn't feel I didn't feel good at all. Okay, because uh, a thing called reality was uh, taking place. Okay, and although reality may still be there, this here is a great. This is just a great way to whatever, you know? It's just a great way to be right now. These are the things that I want to show people. That something like this is possible, you know? I'm just changing the shape of this top here real quick. See, just doing whatever. Yeah, man, my father-in-law, he's a good guy. He's, a, he's just a good guy. He's, he's been a huge part of my life for my life, my whole life. And uh, don't ever talk about him here on this channel or, you know, really don't talk about too much of my family, maybe my wife and kids and stuff, but he's just, uh, yeah. Hope, uh, hope he gets, hope everything works. I hope he gets out, I hope he gets out of there okay. And, um, he went in, uh, it, it was just not expected how this all, how this all happened. So this wasn't like a, a planned thing or even, like I said, it wasn't even expected whatsoever. So, so yeah, I'm just uh, pulling some of this color down here like this. All right, just getting that little little hair there just getting the ideas rolling here you know Eric B Eric B I see your name I just saw your name pop up maybe you've been here please tell me uh, you get you got my emails did you get them did you reply to them or anything like that I'm just curious because I felt bad I'm gonna be doing another acrylic painting soon 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 but um so I've been trying to let me just run over this real quick I've been trying to distinctly figure out what you know what to do here um now you're not bugging me Eric I was just making sure I just wanted to make sure we you know connected and you got my stuff so all good man all good um, I want to move, uh, I'm going to move, I think this would be the best thing. Like all these live streams here, like you don't know when they are. They're very random, right? I don't never really say when they are because I don't really know. Um, but I'm going to do, I have the, uh, the channel, like the channel members page. And uh, this is what I've decided to do. One of the things is, because uh, it's been up in the air. I haven't really understood what I should do. I'm going to take and use that. I'm just getting some more color here real quick. I'm going to take and I'm going to do, here's the deal. I'm going to do four live streams per month on the channel's uh, channel members page. Um, and that's where the live stream videos are going to be. And that's where they're going to live. All right. Um, that's just what I have desired, desired, blah, 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 just decided uh blah sorry i can't i can't do three things at once because my brain's not smart but uh, that's what i decided to do because then i can actually make a schedule and then this will just be regular videos or whatever um and that's just that so you know if anybody is uh interested or not interested either way i'm just letting you know so and uh why am i doing that you may ask is because I'm trying to do things to where I can monetize stuff so I can so I can do this because that's why you know because this is just something that I just need to be doing this bottom line I need to be doing this is what I need to be doing things get things are scary things are scary for me if I'm not doing this and uh, 
very open about that. It's the truth. I'm just adding a little bit of a light color on here. I just want to have a background texture for him on here. Something I normally don't do in other pictures. But I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to sustain a future type of uh, income thing, okay? That's what I'm trying to do. If I can do this full time, that's a great thing and that guarantees um, videos and a lot of things. Guarantees a uh, future, guarantees my a future for me of some kind, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't normally do this here, but I am I'm adding some, like I said, some undertones here or whatever, the, I don't even know what these are called properly, but the way I'm doing this, I don't do this ever, but I am doing it because I want it to be distinctly different for him. Okay. So the wall painting, um, for an example, is something that uh, I'm not sure. I because I started that regular. I'm gonna. I'll probably finish that regular. But um, any other projects like that, I'm gonna do on uh, you know a member thing. So and to be honest with you, like the chan with channel members, like a picture like this here. Let me check my um, one second here. Let me check my uh, battery life here. Quick. Okay. Now listen carefully. If the screen goes black, um, just just let me know or whatever. Just sit tight because all I got to do is switch your battery. Tracy, thank you. And I was just thinking, you can you believe I booked a hotel and actually and I just booked and paid for a hotel and I lost all that I lost that money when I should have remembered. I should have remembered. But thank you, Tracy. Tracy has been uh, like a supporter of this channel in every which way for as long as I can remember. And I just, uh, I can't even, I'm, I'm thankful for, for you, you know, you guys, Tracy, all of you guys. I'm just, Tracy, it's super nice of you to do stuff like that. And you, thank you. Appreciate it. All right. All right. Here we go. I'm just going to lift this mountain like it's a cloud a little bit. Just need to soften that real quick there. Thank you, Tracy. That's what I mean. Like, no, I screwed up. And that's, and I'll tell you why, because the hotel, um, it was, I, I made arrangements with, uh, with Bram. I, I wanted to stay right, you know, where he was. And, uh, yeah. That's what I wanted to do, and that's why I jumped on it right away. And then afterwards, I was like, oh, no, I should have just, you know, I should have just called Tracy. And uh, I screwed up, and I didn't. And I screwed myself. <laughs> okay, let me just uh, stand back real quick. How's that mountain look so far? There's nothing on it yet. All right, I'm going to go a few more minutes, and I'll switch the battery up because I feel like it's going to it's gonna lose... Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, Deb, I'm going to start to put some highlights on here in a second. But yes, Deborah, let me answer that real quick. I see what you wrote there. I am on Patreon, but the biggest problem with Patreon is people come there. And let me just des uh, describe this real quick. People come to Patreon because of my old videos on YouTube. I have 178 videos. They come to Patreon because in my old videos, I used to do um i would paint a picture and then i would have the palette and a whole nother video where I, you, you could see the palette so i did that for the patreon members so people go there looking for those videos which don't exist anymore because it was too pain in the butt to do that so they go there they sign up even though the category is gone there is no more of that category i have two categories on patreon one is like support me if you believe in me and the other one was like just like keep the youtube videos going it's like a dollar a week. That's all it is. But uh, Patreon doesn't uh, do well at all because people come in there and they're like, oh, I want to see these extra videos. They come in, they are not there, and then they're like, screw this guy, and then they're out, and then that's it. So, yep, it's there, but uh, 
it's just there for you know su support so if, you know for people that actually uh care and believe all right i'm gonna mix i'm mixing up some uh, some color here and i'm using uh, uh, a little bit of midnight black and white and let's do this All right, this is not like a highlight, highlight color, but it's something. I'm just gonna pop some colors on here to get my uh, general idea going of where I'm going with this thing, okay? So I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna pop some up here. See, I just touch and move it around and do all these things, see? I gotta say, I love doing this. I do like doing this. A lot. And then I step back a little bit and then I figure out what's going on here, you know, like where I'm going. I sometimes I'll see things that I didn't see before. You know? If I mean Bram. Yeah, dude, Bram, yo, me and Bram are like this. Well, let me do it with the me and Bram are like this. Bram is a good friend of mine. Um and me and him have be have been able to become, you know, much closer because he's just he's an amazing guy. You know, he's amazing at what he does. Like, you know, and I think it's just great to be able to connect like that because normally, when you have two people in the same, you know, I, I was going to say trade or this or that or whatever, you have two people normally your enemies or whatever, and that's the case, believe it or not, in the paint world. Um, a lot of other, I don't know if you know this or not, but a lot of the other people out there that paint pictures do not like me at all. And I'm, not, I'm talking about, I'm talking about the people that like make content and make videos. And it's not just me. They don't like other people either. So quick heads up on that. But, but Bram is totally awesome. hundred percent. So I always tell people to go over, check him out, you know, because he's just a good dude. You're just a good dude. All right, now I gotta plan this real quick here for where am I going? Um, yeah, you're right, Chris. And the community of people here is just amazing. Everybody here is just absolutely amazing. And my uh, comment is referring to people in, you know, in the uh, other area, you know, that don't like other people. So. There we go, something like this. I'm just doing whatever here. All right. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I don't know when the next online painting class is because um, I still have to do something different to set that up different because there was, uh, anyways, I've done some online stuff like through Facebook and uh, Facebook has like, over a thousand or fifteen hundred dollars I just I can't get it from them and it's just it's just kind of ridiculous and I'll explain that later of why it just will not let me I need to call them how can people not like me <laughs> well cat um, that's okay you know it, it's the truth but and that's okay it's okay it's the truth and I've uh, I've accepted it and that's all right I'm gonna put some uh, highlights on here a little bit here. I'm just going to, I'm just doing my thing here, you know, I'm just doing whatever. I'm just going to do this and I'm going to have to step back for a minute. A little bit there. I don't want to ruin the stuff that's underneath though, because I want to be able to see that. And I'm going to put some shadows and stuff in. Hey, Krista, was Nick on here? I thought I saw his name. I haven't seen or heard from him in a while, and I was, uh, I was just wondering about him recently. I hope everything's going good for Nick. Nick is an incredible guy, an incredible artist. He's a kid. He was at the beginning? Okay. 
such an amazing kid. And, uh, you know, Bram's another amazing artist. And I always tell people, head over to their channels. Head over to their channels because it's amazing. I'm going to take, uh, let me see here. I'm going to just get a, a shadow color. I'm going to try to use some phthalo blue, Prussian blue, and a little bit of this black and see what we got. See what that cooks up. Mm. Okay, I'm just taking, so this is, I'm trying to make, I want these colors to be a little bit more vibrant, I'm hoping. Let me get some of that color here. I want it to be a nice shadow color though. Phthalo blue is such a pretty color. You agree? Phthalo blue is amazing. Such an awesome color. <laughs> I'm just getting some more white into that. So lighten it up. I'm trying to get the, I'm trying to get it to feel right, you know, before I, let me see how that looks before I put it up. <laughs> okay. You see, this might be too, whoops, this might be too vibrant, so let me see. One second. There we go. Yeah, that was too vibrant. Lighten it up a hair. See, I'm just kind of. I can turn this knife this way and just do whatever. See, I'm just messing around now with some of these. Something like this. And then I start to get an idea of maybe like a little, you know, design of what I'm thinking in my mind. And that's when I would come up and drop in some beautiful shadows here. And I think this blue is doing the col the, doing the trick for me, I think. I like what I'm seeing here. Just a little bit more in here. here pop in a little bit over here maybe you know whatever it's like just do whatever you need to and I definitely wanted this to be a little bit more on the vibe vibrant side and I can I can still like tone I can still soften it a little bit easily by just adding um, you know a touch of white and like midnight black in there and what that does is it kind of like grays it up a little bit like if you wanted to just make it a little bit softer you can just do that carefully see super easy and it only takes a second to do some of those, you know, like that grade, that grade look in there. <clears throat> and then let's see what we got going on here. You know, and you just mess around with stuff is what you do. I want something to, let's see here. All right, so I want to do, da, 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 I need some dark color real quick. Because watch, I want something to stand out a little bit better. So watch what I do. 
I'm just gonna take some, uh, it's just like midnight black or whatever. Midnight black, I want to, I wanna darken something right here. I wanna darken that a little bit and then do a little bit more of that. Darken that. I'll show you what I'm doing here. And maybe, you know what the hell, I'm gonna put some here too. Just real quick. Just soften that. All right, now I just put that some of that dark color in there, right? And then, what am I doing? Let me get some white now. Okay, let me get some white and then Okay, get some more white. I want to do. Yeah, okay, I'm going to start right. wanted that backside to show a little bit so now I'm going to go back into the blues here a little bit okay it's all right it's a little bit gray and that's fine and I just want to these are just things you mess around with that's all mess with these things. Okay, Let's see what we got here. Let me check the battery. there. <laughs> All right. Let me do this. I'm going to get some uh, midnight black here. A little bit of that. A little bit of a you know, nice dark color. Darker-ish color. And I want to... Man, what the hell? I need some blue in there too, I suppose. More black. Okay. <laughs> Something like that, right about there. Just dropping some dark colors, all that I'm doing here. Just want to do something here with that <clears throat> it'll help with contrast and stuff like that i have a quick question for only the people on youtube only people if you're watching on youtube um if you're not well you have to be not subscribed so actually don't even so i was wondering if the if the join button showed up the join next to it was it will say subscribe and then join. I was just wondering if that showed up <laughs> or not. All right, more dark color and then I can do something here. It's a little color in here as well. Oh, hang on. I hear a, I hear a horn that sounds familiar. And hold on, I'm walking near the door right quick. And what do we have here? Hmm. Okay, that was embarrassing. I heard a. Uh... <laughs> so, in 
my wife's car, when you're uh, when you get out of the car, if you leave the key in there, the horn makes this weird like double beep or something. And I just heard that. And I was just like, all right. So yeah. Paper towels here. And okay. Back to Facebook. Back to Facebook. So yeah, guys, I'm just like doing I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm doing whatever on here. I'm just making a picture for my father-in-law who who needs something to brighten his day up or whatever. Not that I'm allowed to even go in there and see him, which is horrible, but is what it is. So I am not rushing around here. I'm just trying to make something a little peaceful for him that he'll like. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? And uh, hopefully he'll like it. You'll have to let me know what you think about that, if he'll like this. All right, I'm going to grab our Lowe's brush here. Oh, man, I'll tell you what. I just see a comment here. We have... Um, if I butcher your last name, Jeff, I apologize. There is Jeff Chiaverini. Chiaver I'm horrible. Listen, I, ha I don't have much of an education. All right, I dropped out of school. Um, but we have Jeff on here. He's on Facebook. You have to go, listen, you got to go check this guy out. I don't think he, he doesn't have a YouTube channel that I know of, but yo, he has a Facebook page and you really need to go check this guy out because me and him always joke back and forth because he thinks that he thinks that I'm like make, he thinks I make better pictures than he does. Go, go look at this guy. He, uh, he literally blows out of the water what I'm doing. You ought to see this guy's compositions. And I just happen to see him on here. Jeff, 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 Jeff. Uh, how come I cannot pronounce? I'm sorry, dude. I did not mean to butcher your last name. Some, yeah, you know, Krista. Do you know who I'm talking about on there, Jeff? I was gonna see if you could link his page, man. You got to go check this guy out for sure. Like he's he's just so. I know you can hear me, dude. You're a good dude, man. I know we always argue back and forth about like when I say I need to take some lessons from you, but that's yo, that's true. That's straight up true, man. Straight up true. Thanks for being here, buddy. I also had the pleasure of being in the same room as him as well. Yeah, all right. Krista's got it. Thank you, Krista. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah, he's... Uh, when uh, when Steve and Dana came up here to New Jersey, uh, he was here, and it was just... Uh, it was so cool, man. I got to, got to meet a lot of good people. And for that, I am happy. This is Lowe's brush is, uh, I think it's just natural hair. Just like a, kind of feels like my hair. Oh, good. Yeah. Krista, uh, Jeff, I hope you don't mind, buddy, but um, Krista linked your information on, on the YouTube thing, okay? She li listed it in the video, your page and all that stuff. So people, go check him out, guys. Go check him out. The compositions that he makes are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful better than anything that I'll ever do here. And that's the truth. And I know that like, you know, the awkwardness, you don't want to say that, but it's the truth, guys. I tell the truth about stuff like that. I'm not, you know, I'm not, uh, you know, feeling any certain way. It's seriously, this guy's got it. Every time I see one of his pictures, I can immediately tell that it's his, I'm, like immediately. All right, All right. I'm just uh, make. wow, I actually like this brush, believe it or not. All right, good brush. Well, thank you, Lowe's. Now I just got to get them to send me some of these things. Hopefully, now they won't do that. They're too stuck up, I think. Big billion dollar uh, organization. Now these are actually, these are good brushes. I'm gonna tell you what kind they are. I'd never used it before. Uh, it's actually a Low, Low, Low Cornell. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't even know how to pronounce an art company. I don't even know how to do it. Low Cornell 307-2. It's a gesso brush from Lowe's. I believe I bought it. Mm -hmm. 
I'm telling you, I try to make sure that I tell people like, you know, there, Steve's on there. Steve, you agree, right? You know, it's just, you know, another one. Like, and I've uh, got a couple people on here. And Steve, I've already, I always tell people about you. I've told them about you back in the day, man. Like, Steve's another great, you know, awesome, incredible person. Uh, listen, I got a community of great people, man. And I'm just, and I'm happy for that. I'm really happy for that. You guys have no idea. Because you can't always build communities like this. You know what I mean? You can't always build build communities like this you really can't it's it's tough I mean some people do but you guys are genuine and you're and you're sincere and you're just down to earth and you're just great and that's just the bottom line so all right now I gotta just take a look back and oh, see what I want to do here I'm gonna soften a little bit and I want to do this right quick with the handy dandy Lowe's brush. I can't, this is actually cool. This is it. See, here's how you discover stuff, guys. This is how you discover things right here. You know, I don't, I'm just softening a few little things here just to give it a softening effect, I guess. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh wait, shoot, the camera. You see where we're at here? Hmm, still not too bad, okay. Remember, if the screen goes black, just give me a second. As a matter of fact, got the, I got the back up here. Right here, guys. You know what? I got an idea real quickly because then we don't have to worry about this crap. Yo, Krista, I was going to, oh, does it not let you? Oh, shoot, it doesn't let you. Krista, it doesn't let you block them, does it? Hmm. Oh, I don't, I have no clue what that meant, but. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ready? Camera on. Uh, it's going to go black for a minute. Do not. Uh, well, you can click off if you want, but uh, I'm changing the battery. It just takes a second. All I got to do is refocus. So here we go. Stand by one second, guys. I'm changing this damn battery. It's driving me nuts. Hold on. Bada bing, bada boom, done. How do you like that? How do you like that? See that? Nice and easy. Just gotta plug the other one in now. I've got a bunch of them. Cat Glover, thank you very much. Sincerely, thank you. I appreciate the donations. They help, they help a lot. I don't I don't ask people to donate anymore, but they uh they really do. So the people that do them are doing it from the bottom of their heart, and I appreciate that. I'm going to get a little bit more white here right quick. And you know what? I got an idea. Boom, boom, boom. Thank you, Chantel. Thank you. Appreciate it. I hope that's how I pronounce your name. I hope I didn't butcher that as well. I butcher people's names by mistake. I mean well. Always remember, I mean well. But how about a little spice of this uh, alizarin crimson? How, how do you think that would look? Let's see just find out just a little bit right along the edge okay I can dig that a little bit right maybe what the heck let's just drop some back here as well too You see, I already softened some of those areas, and that's okay. You can go back and do the, do the same thing over and over again. Let me put a little bit more of that. I want to... A little bit there, like this. See that? A 
you could just do all kinds of little stuffs. Mm-hmm. About right. Three more. Oh, Krista, I know, right? What are you? Krista, you know, you never... How many people watch, like, um, back in the day, there was, like... And I'm sure there's a better reference. It was that show, 24. It was, like, they had this room, CTU or whatever it was, all these computers and these screens and all kinds of stuff. I picture that's, like, what Krista's area is. Krista has, like... Or better yet, it's, like... Um, it, the event, like in, in the White House, when they have like big events or whatever, with the, like the president or something, they have those like areas where like the uh, uh, Secret Service is and they got 50 monitors up. That is like, that's Krista's setup. She's got like 50 monitors and like a team on standby ready to go with the blacked out SUVs and stuff outside. Yeah, it's just like so funny. I'm joking. I'm not joking, Krista, but I am joking. I just think it's so awesome. Just how cool, like how you know, helpful and, de and dedicated you are to helping me, because it really is not forgotten, like for sure. I'm gonna put a little bit more to this mountain, right there, and I'm gonna have a little bit goes, a little bit of light color that goes down, like that. Yeah, you're cracking up. You know I'm right though. It's so funny. It is your area, right? We, oh, and then and then after all that commotion that she has going on. There's like an easel and some paint and stuff. Too funny. <laughs> Putting a little bit of light color here. And I want to, even though the light's not shining this way, I just want to watch this. I'll put a little bit and then I'm going to put some dark in. So we have that right there, and then I'm going to put a little dark. That's just too funny. I'm going to be thinking about that all night now, like how you have like this area that's like this secret um, setup and secret service area. See, I'm just putting some of this dark here now over top. And we'll just kind of blend those two together. See, I'm not worried about rushing here. I want to do what's right, you know, what feels right here. It could be just this cool-looking little mountain, right? Let me just drag some of this down here. I can do uh, soften this with the brush as well. But see, like this here, you could just come back and do this stuff after, you know, you've already, like, softened the mountain up. You can come back and do all kinds of cool things, you know? It's never too late. Yeah, laptop, second monitor, sounds like a plan. All right, got paint. Uh-oh, hold on. Yeah, no zoom in while using the knife. That is, uh, that's something that I do on the channel member thing or the private classes. No, no zooming in on these videos on the knife. It's just uh, not set up for that. Now I need uh, hmm, a little bit more dark here. Now, just in case anybody is uh, wondering or new or whatever, is like, why is this guy playing with this mountain so long? It's, uh, I'm just making this picture for my father-in-law who happens to be in the hospital. And I'm just trying to make something nice for him. So instead of rushing through or whatever, I'm just uh, taking my time, just doing what I feel like doing, so. If this mountain, if I, if, if it's something that I finish in 20 minutes, you know, the mountain, that's great. Or if I feel like getting a sleeping bag and a pillow and just camp out here all night, and take naps and do all that stuff, I'll do that as well. It's whatever, um, whatever I feel like. And I don't know what I ultimately feel like yet, but I'm working on that. So you'll know when I know. But now I'm, I'm letting you know, yeah, definitely I'm, having a little bit of a sense of humor here, um, but the, I can't, I have the uh, zoom in and zoom in and out constantly set up for the other videos. 
I put more into them, and that's why people pay for those. So that's where that comes. It's just too hard to do right here because I just have the one camera, and boom, that's it. All right, I got to change something here just a little bit. I just need a little bit more bright right there. Ugh. A little bit more, right? I want it to show right about there. And I want some there. And there. And I think, let's see how that looks. Let's see how that looks. Okay, hold on a second. Yeah, that's definitely, uh, yeah. Can you um, hide? See you later, dude. All right. YouTube make needs to make the block feature much easier. You have to like go visit their channel and then do all, you got to visit their channel. <clears throat> like if you want to block somebody on YouTube, YouTube makes you visit their channel, you know, watch a few videos, maybe leave a comment, give a like or two, and then they let you block them. All right. I'm going to soften this up now. No, I'm kidding. That's not the case, but it seems like it. I like this brush from Lowe's, honestly. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you. See, I'm just going to soften a little bit of these things here. And then do the same thing here, just a little bit here and there. <clears throat> Yep, just like that. All right, now, I feel like this mountain has a lot of textures in it. So I'm gonna give it a nice little swat. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm not gonna use the, the Lowe's brush. I'm gonna use one of mine here for that because it's just better, I guess. I don't know. See, I'm just gonna soften it like this now. Lift up like it's a cloud or something, see? lift it and then I gotta do just a little bit in here maybe and trust me this does something take and grab and <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> pull like this all right and then for an example like I can take this uh, knife if I want to, a little color here. Watch, I can just go. Just add like little things and little textures and stuff and you can change this mountain right up if you want. You can make a little hill right here. You know, just, you can change the, the layout quickly. You know what I mean? <clears throat> color there you go something right about like that maybe maybe For the heck of it, I'm gonna just grab just any little bit of the dark color and some crimson, maybe. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> I'll 
I'll soften this color up because it's going to be awfully you know, dark. I just want it to appear closer or something. You know. It's a nice color. Nice color. Nice color. And uh, stand by one second. Hang on one second. I have somebody at the door here. Somebody at the door here. Hey, Jack, how you doing? I'm on a, I'm on a, I did. Yep. Yes, sir. Are you good? Oh, you're all good? Hey, nice to see you, man. Hey, I'll call you. Hey, I'll call you when I'm done, okay? I got to ask you a question anyways. See you, buddy. Sorry about that. That was, uh. That was Jack, good old Jack. Jack, he, uh, good guy, good guy. I didn't want to leave him hanging out there at the door. I locked the door because uh, some, sometimes some interesting people try to come in here. Like, how's that look? All right, that looks pretty cool, huh? That's right. Whoever said sound effects, is, that is true. It's a fact. Factual information there. You know what? I just, I'm feeling this here real quick. Just subtly, su subtly in the background here. See that? Little color up there. See that? That works. Maybe a little bit there to make sure that it connects nice. Okay, now. Hey, that's nothing. If you think people are crazy. Some guy came in here one day and you know, I'm a nice guy. Like I open the door. No, it wasn't locked back then, I don't think. This guy came in, he, he like pushed me up against the wall and told me don't move. And uh, he wanted to take a picture like with me. And I was like, yo man, I was like, if you want to take a picture with me, this is the wrong way to go about it, man. And it was just funny anyways. The cops came and stuff, it was just crazy. And I locked the door ever since then, yep. How's this look? Nice. But, you know, can't be upset. The guy was probably just having a bit, you know, bad day and whatever. So I got to be careful. This mountain's going to take over the whole damn picture, you know? Sound is super good here, Tracy. Is that what you said? All right, so let me see. That's awful darn. Let me check something real quick. Just feel like 250, 200, 160. Let me just try something real quick. I just want to see something because. Oh, yeah, see, that's much better. That actually looks more like the darn picture. I mean, it's just the, the contrast is there a little bit better now, stuff like that. All right. So yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. All right, I just need to do one thing here real quick. I need to first, I want this to be distinct and, oops, not enough. Get some white paint ugh, there. All right, like this. And then, 
tiny bit more of that dark color real quick. I just want to do one thing here. Oh, I just saw that. Yeah, dude. Sorry, Jeff. I didn't even realize that. Krista, I was... I didn't even ask him if it was okay to put those links up. That's, like, funny. I, like, just, like, made my own rules up. So, yeah, no, hopefully that was cool, Jeff. Um, but even if it's not cool, people people deserve to see your artwork, buddy. But I'm pretty sure it's cool. Got to make this distinctive here. Cool. Good deal, bro. Good deal. I got to put a little bit of dark here right a little bit more of that this is okay no problem man no problem you deserve it pal all right now I just wanted to do that I should have did that last time right Hey, Steve, did Steve, is he still on here? Steve, you still on here, buddy? <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna take some of the blue color, the, the shadow color. It's a little bit grayed. too much now before I move on here I just want to put a little bit of this Steve oh hey I'm gonna call you in a little bit buddy I want to uh, talk to you about one of the uh, things that I'm gonna be doing upcoming but it's only gonna be like 10 people so I'm gonna give you uh, just I'm gonna talk to you about that in a little while or whatever I'll text you first to make sure it's cool to talk or whatever Sometimes when you do shadows, right, when you put like that, that color, that blue in there, you can take a little bit of a, a lighter color, right, and do one of these things here and like highlight your shadows. That sounds kind of weird, right? But sometimes it works just a little <clears throat> like this. You get the point. So I think one of the things I'm trying to show you is like you could just mess around, I guess. Just mess around a little bit, you know? All right, let me get the... Um, I'm just going to swat this up. I'm not going to really tap it or nothing too much. I'm just going to give it a nice soft look or whatever. doing something here real quickly with that. I just want to see how that is going to look. You can't see anything with that because it's literally just a, I'm just swirling a brush around, but I just want to see how this is going to look for like a foggy look is all. That's why I'm doing this, so.
now I can go ahead and I can take the I'm gonna grab me a fan brush here number three fan brush and start putting some background stuff in here for uh, for the old man because I know he likes pine trees so okay got the old fan brush here and I like that comment that uh, well the part that says my work is phenomenal I may disagree there but how simple he makes it and makes you realize that everyone can paint. I like that. And that's the truth. It's simple. You can do it. You can paint it. That's for sure. You can, uh, you can paint it. All right, let's do some stuff here. Um, and if you have not been able to be here from the beginning, you ought to rewind the video back. I know that I wasn't like this. I know I just, due to some real life events going on, um, I spent the last two days very, very sad, to be quite honest, like extremely sad. And uh, here I am. Here I am. Um, very sad. Didn't want to get out of bed at all. And uh, I did, because I, I, I knew that if I did, I knew if I got up and came here, this would happen. And it's true. So, all right, okay, just clearing a spot for the old man and his trees, and okay, let me just do it like this here. What am I doing? Give me a color going here. So I'm going to take, I like using some green and some brown and like a little bit of black and both Prussian blue, phthalo blue. Hell, even, you know, like crimson. All of, here's what I do. Let me think about this for a minute before I say it. Here's what I do. I'm going to grab my bottle of water, too. Now, this probably may not make sense to most people, but let's say I want to, all right, this is, if you ever heard me say anything, you should probably, you should probably pay attention to what I'm about to say, because this is true. Hello. Nice. Hello. Okay. Almost drop that in the water. This is true, what I'm about to tell you. Everything is true that I tell you, but this is accurate. Very accurate and important. Let's say you're making trees, like I'm about to. This is important advice. I should charge for, no, I'm just kidding. I should not charge for this advice. My advice, who knows if it's good or not, but listen. I'm gonna make trees, right? You heard me, what did I just say? I'm like, ah, use some blue, black, brown, yellow, all, like all the colors just about let's exclude the yellows when I make trees I literally look at this I just grabbed first of all green I use Prussian blue phthalo blue that's ivory black I use midnight black burnt umber and then green I used much more green because predominantly I want it to be green right so I use more green so pretty much I use all the colors except for no yellows I use all the colors, but more of the color that I wanted to lean towards. Does that make sense? All these colors are in nature. So here I got this beautiful color, right? And it's hard to see. It just looks like dark on the palette, but there it is. And the trees that I'm making are far in the distance, right? So what I do in that case is I, you saw the color, right? That I just made here. So now because it's in the distance, I'm going to take a, a little spot somewhere else. I'm going to add white to that and I'm going to lighten that color up. All right. Lighten it up a little tiny bit and it's just going to help me create that distant look. Okay. So yeah, I don't know if that was like a worthless tip or not, but you know, just saying, just saying, <laughs> that's what I do guys, by the way. Okay. All right, let me figure out here exactly. I didn't, um, let me see what I'm gonna do here. 
I want to, I want a couple of rows of things. So I'm going to draw a line. This is what you should do too when you make stuff. Draw a line. It's going to go down and up and choom, like there. Remember, I was joking one day about you could just make a landscape with circles. You sure can. Let's just make some circles. <laughs> Why not? Now, I'm just going to touch a little bit more blue into that, and then I'm going to see how this looks real quick over here. Maybe a little something here. I'm making literal circles. making circles let's see here chum, 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 chum. Oh. all right so now you know get the color down right you can just get it on there do all that stuff and then I'm gonna just I'm actually gonna grab some uh, white paint real quick a little bit of uh, nice little Prussian blue in there there's some dirt garbage green all that stuff no problem and on the fan brush, I just want to see something here real quick. Just want to tone this up a hair. Circles all day long. Serious. More white. More white. Choom, choom. Okay. All right, now. Let me grab my Lowe's brush here right quickly. And see something. <laughs> grab Lowe's brush. And do I want to tap this guy or what? Do I, what do I want to do? Yeah, might as well, whatever. So watch. I'm just going to make this stuff disappear because, you know, it's like more in the distance, so it doesn't really matter. It's just going to it's going to look like nothing, right? And you could do circles. Circles work straight up. They work. They really do. You want it to be like very light. Almost like I said nothing. Okay, that's still working. Hello, testing. One, two, three. Yep. Okay. You know, this is just like a soft type of a background of something, right? And I'm going to go over here. Just circle these guys a little bit. Tap it, circle it, whatever. All right, now it doesn't look like much, but that, like I said, that could be a, a background, you know? You could, you could actually pull it up like this. Same thing over here. And just swat it back and forth. You know, and it gives you that nice, uh, soft type of a feeling. Now, 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 now. Going to going to I guess I'll just use the same fan brush. I'm gonna wipe it out real quick and I do want to get some darker color on here. Alright, I'm gonna wipe that off and then I'm just gonna take the brush and I already have a nice dark color there. I'm just gonna add uh, some phthalo green to that, more black. And a little bit more Prussian blue. It's a nice dark color. I don't normally use phthalo green, but holy crap, this stuff is dark. It's like a nice dark color. All right. Get right to the point here. I want to put in some ground. I want some ground, I want some hills. So I'm going to map this out like this. I'm going to start here. I'm just going to tap for a minute, okay? Just going to tap it away. See, there's nothing, there's nothing hard about this here. Just, 
just whatever. Whatever. And bring this guy right. He's gonna go back there and then where's that other one that comes off? This other one kind of goes, comes off and goes right around the corner like this. Okay, more color. More of that black and then that blue, what the hell, a little brown even. I don't you know, all the colors. More green, more green, here we go. So we got this one side here. I'm gonna just put some, hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna tap. Keep on tapping away. See? I need to push up, tap, whatever. Now there's some liquid white down here, right? So this is a simple fix. This is a simple fix right here. I gotta wipe this fan brush off right quick. Set that there, you could do this. Something like that, right about there. See? Just scraping it off. That's all I'm doing. See? Just scrape it away. Yeah, scrape it off. Is that what I was talking about? I don't know sometimes what I talk about. Um, however, however, I tend to, I admit it often. I admit it. I'm like, yeah, sure. I'm all over the place. Sometimes I have no clue what I'm doing. But the difference is I admit it and I'm okay with it. All right, so this is where I, I personally, I do get a little impatient. You know, honest, honestly, this is where I try to tell you, like, just, you know, get some color down. I'm not going to go crazy on the whole thing. I just wanted to do that part. I got to get some more blue, some more, some of those greens, a little bit of black in there. Okay. Crimson. Just wanted to get some of that dark color in here real quick. You just get the color in there. It's That's it. See? And uh, your life will work out better this way. All right, so since I have the old knife here going, I might as well, I might as well just uh, hmm, put something different on that side though. So yeah, you know what? We have, let's do this. I gotta wipe some of this white off, hold on. There way. One second, I'll be right with you. Be right with you. quickly just get that see this will I mean I didn't have to do that I just feel like it you know just it, it helps back to that dark color I can just now I can just get some of that dark color on here something like this there and then we've got us another I want something back here I'm going off of that other picture, but I wanted to change it just a little bit. Okay, it has to be higher. Like this, see? You could do stuff with a knife, obviously, you know? And then I can start to work with this color. Oh, glad to hear that, Krista. Thank you. I hope he, uh, I hope it'll make him smile, you know? <laughs> now I got the old, this fan brush here, and then I'm going to, you know, kind of spread some of this color out a little bit. Just spread some of this color out. Just think about the shapes. All right. I can tap a little bit, push a little bit, make it like little, 
fuzzies on the top, you know. You know, maybe it doesn't have to be super far away. Maybe this isn't, you know. I don't I don't know if it is or not. Something possibly. And then all right, let me just go over here and I'm just gonna do something here. I don't know what yet. I'm gonna make some trees over here. But I'm gonna put these little bush or these little fuzzy things in. I don't know what they are, but they're there for sure. They are in there. And then, all right, so I have to, I gotta do this. I want another, another thing that sticks out right there. And, I, and then I can make little, make a little fog maybe here, I don't know, maybe. All right, let me think about that for a minute. Think about that. Let me try this real quick. Come on, Lowe's. Come on, Lowe's. Don't let me down. Give me some. Give me some mist, Lowe's. Give me some. Uh, give me some nice uh, mist. I have no clue. I'm just like, whatever. I didn't even put any uh, sky color on the water yet. That's so funny. <laughs> but that's okay, though. That's all right. We'll do that afterwards, you know, because it's not like that's... I mean, we all like wasting steps, you know? Who the hell cares? We all like to put our mist in and then our actual colors that we need. Shoot. the hell? Um, which, it's not too bad to put the colors in, you know, just... Would we have a little pink, a little crimson in there? We had a little crimson up in there throughout the water. Right? A little crimson in there. And then what else do we have? Blue. Right? Prussian blue, maybe. Sucks. That's not. That's gonna leave a mark. Okay. Now, where's our Lowe's brush at? Mm. I'm just gonna soften this up a hair, I suppose. Leave that color in there, and then pull some of this down, just because it. I don't know why. swatting it back and forth. Missed a spot. Mm -hmm. Better fill up. Uh, I forgot. I just put it on with a knife. I didn't even do anything else yet. I was supposed to put texture in here, you know, whatever. See, doesn't matter. See? Now I can like at least separate the areas though now. And you'll see what I'm doing right here. Piece of land sticking out here. Let's 
So that mist is still showing. Something like this. those little pieces in place right about there mm -hmm. and then uh, I got to get some yeah some dark color real quick and then the other painting had a little couple things somewhere nothing fancy or special just a few little things right there something like this maybe whatever those things once again I didn't do anything over with the darn brush I just put the color on with a darn palette knife and uh, I uh, hang on one second guys hold on one second I got um, hold on one second <clears throat> hey man live video and watch are you, you stopping and going oh cool no you're good bro yeah, I've got one of my good friends here, old JJ from many, many moons ago. Check it out. Go up close and check it out. What do you think? Tell me what you think. Good stuff or what? Yeah, man. Like it? No, you're good, man. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so you're one person that, uh, I was, this other guy came, I don't let everybody in, you know, but, uh, but JJ, he, uh, shoot, man, he's been a friend for how many years? How many years, man? 30, how old am I? 40? 40 years? Yeah, man. I remember when I first, uh, when I first met you, man, when we were younger, I, I, I swear, whoa, what did I do there? I thought, uh, for some reason, you let me, um, you let me borrow this antenna coax and, and uh, I forget what happened. I don't, I like, I, I lost it or I did something. And man, I was so freaking scared. I thought you were going to, you know, beat the hell out of me, dude. Cause uh, That's silly. yeah, but no, but anyways, I, I miss, uh, misunderstood. And uh, absolutely, man. Absolutely. So what do you think, man? You want to, you want to see me make a tree? Let's make a tree real quick. So I was making this for, uh, my father-in-law, he uh, with literally, like unexpectedly, went to the hospital last night, and you know, just trying to, uh, just trying to make something for him. You know what I mean? So, so yeah, man. So let's do. Uh, so I was kind of going off of this a little bit, the one over there, you know. That one. Just you know, just an idea, because. Just because he, uh, yeah, he likes those colors, you know what I mean? And, uh, right, right, that's what I was hoping. Put a couple of little baby trees right here. I can't believe I got paint all over my hands. And I don't even know how I just did that. I had none on there seconds ago. No, you're good. No, you come anytime, dude. I told you that before. It's so nice that you're here and not, I mean, it's nice when you're there too in the comments, but like it's better when you're here, you know? I'd love to have you stopping in here when I'm doing something, you know? Well, that's why I must, uh, I'm looking at my phone and I was like, Jesus, wow. Yeah, man. <laughs> I told you before, straight, seriously, yeah, straight up. Right. Always like, you know, always come in here. I'm dead serious, man. You know? No, I appreciate that. Oh, absolutely, man. Same here, dude. Same here, buddy. Couple trees going there, you know. A couple more in the back over here. Hopefully, the old man likes this stuff, you know. Hopefully, he likes it. There. Is it really? That, so that's a good. That's a good. Uh, good that you said that because. That's something that I've always wondered. Like, is it a better experience when if you're right here versus watching on the video? You know what I mean? I mean, the video, you see everything, but it's just actually seeing it. Actually seeing it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, it's better in person. Right, right. That's I'm telling you, I've always wondered that because obviously it's hard for me to to know. You know what I mean? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Hey man, I just uh, I try. I'm telling you, I said it earlier here today. Like the only reason I'm you know, pushed to do this because truth is, I told everybody here too. Like I shouldn't be here with the stuff that's happened to me in the last two days. There's no, I shouldn't even be here standing right now doing this. I should be in bed. But this is why I'm here because I I practice what I preach and it's the God's honest truth. You know what I mean? I preach. I. You do? know that like well, that's good to know man that's it's good to know man um, I that's what's up you know I didn't realize how how, how much see I know it yeah I, yep I'm just starting to understand that's why I'm, I'm here for two reasons to practice what I preach because I know it's going to do something for myself and hopefully somebody else watching you know got an email last night about somebody that uh, just by chance found a saw a video that they've never even heard of me before and can't even go into uh, details but it's like legit it's it's such a good thing that they found that email after what I what was written to me you know do one over here maybe we'll do one right here watch this right about there see it's a little bit darker because it'll bring it a little bit closer now you know a little bit closer see you just stomp it skip a spot You think so? I was never yet. I always forget what I was like when I was a kid, man. Honestly. Yep. Put myself down a lot. What'd you say? Yeah, it's it's tough, man. That's why we got along so much. Yeah, we both, yeah. Yep. Well, you know. Similar upbringing. Absolutely. Well, you're a you're a good dude, man. You're a good dude. I'm super glad you even st stopped here. I'm, I'm like, I saw your face. I was like, whoa. I, was, I told everybody to hold on. I said, I have somebody important at the door. Let me go get that. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Would you guys get Chinese food? Of course. Bobo's, best, best Chinese food around, Bobo's. The only Chinese food I know. You go to other places and it's like, it's Chinese food. Absolutely. Look at, here's how easy this is. So you saw what I just did. I just tapped the line there, right? And then bang. And then you just hold the corner of this brush, right? And all I'm literally doing is just pushing. Touch, push, skip a spot, go to the right, go to the left. Go to the right, left, right, get some more paint, right? No special nothing, just left, right, left, flip the brush maybe. See? It's like one, two, three, one, two, three. You just keep on doing that. Like it, it it's actually it's pretty, you know, once you get the hang of this, it's pretty simple. And down here it really doesn't matter what you do, you just get the color in, you know? You just get that there, there, because you smash that color in because then you can come up here and you could do one of these things. You could just draw a little line right there and then you could put a little guy here and then he just, oh, wrong corner, just tap him, see, just, and then he just kind of goes like this. He just, he blends in with whatever. You see what I mean? So he's there, right? He's there. He's there. And then, You know, this Lowe's brush has been really, um, what's that word, intriguing? What is that a word? Intriguing? Is that a, is that's actually a word? Okay. Now, I wanted to try something with the old Lowe's brush here. I don't know if this is uh, going to work or not. I just wanted to see what, uh, if I uh, just stomped in some color here right quick. Like some background yeah, stuff. Like what? 
Yeah, right. See, see later trees so far. We can make other ones, but I just wanted to see something with that Lowe's brush because that could be like good background stuff, you know? But you see, I just totally went over top of what, like those trees, you know what I mean? I did one the other day. Where the heck is it? Hey, Mama. What's up? Howdy. You guys got to come here more often. Look at that. Whoa. I thought, look at that smile on my face when you guys come here. I should just turn the camera around. You want to come say hi? Yo, if you want to, can, I, can you guys stand in front one? Can I take a screenshot? Here, I want to show you my great friends real quick and beautiful family right here. Go right in front of them. I just want to show you guys so I can get a nice old screenshot. Don't worry if you knock some stuff over. Candace is like, that's it. You're getting hit. So that's JJ right there. One of my best, longest friends for many, many, many years. And that's his beautiful wife, Candace, right there. Don't mess with her because she will beat the hell out of you. Yes. That's right. So, no, I appreciate that. Thanks, guys. Thank you. And I'm super happy that they came here to visit me. His hair, I like the pink, you know? But, um, so yeah, that's cool. That's so great. All cheered up now, you know? Um, what's I even doing? But, um, yes, no, you go with you guys. Are you hanging? Are you, you got to eat food or you want to, you can do whatever you want. Oh, good. Oh, good. I thought you already had it. So that's cool. So they're going to visit with me for a minute. All right. I like that. It's always good to have, uh, it's always good to have good friends around, you know? Oh, wait, wait till I do this water line, you know? Yeah. Yo, here, Candace. Grab a chair, bro. Whatever you want. Whatever, whatever you're feeling, man. Um, front of that so this is like uh, this is just so much fun to do this stuff uh, and I told you this the last time you guys were here like hopefully we can hopefully we can connect and get you guys to make something because it's uh, it's legit I was in a really weird spot this morning and yesterday and uh, the day before you know it's just like family stuff like you know what I mean it's just good stuff Yep, and um, Aaron's dad's in the hospital. So that's who I'm making this picture for, by the way. He's in the hospital, so I'm making him, making the old man something nice. Well, something that he may think is nice. I'm not saying it's nice, but, you know, he might think it's nice. You like it? You like it? I'm just going to pop in a little. He likes pine trees, and fortunately, he's in luck because I like making them, <laughs> you know? Absolutely. Get some more of that color black in there, and then, and they're easy to make too. You just you just smash them into wherever. See, just a big load of stuff, and you'll never know that that's not a pine tree. You can even go this way, and I can separate those in a minute. I'm just going to put another one over here, but this one has to be. You know what? This one's like different. He's. I like him a lot more. He's more like me. Me, I'm different. I'm so different. And if you were wondering, uh, these clouds are thick, thick as hell, and I'm not using any uh, no paint thinner to put this color down. More, I'm using more paint and less less pressure to, to go over top of those clouds. All right. So and then I'll put some, some nice branches and stuff in there, and then I'll bring the sucker to life in no time. Let's make some circle trees in the background. See that garbage right there? That little mess, whatever that was right there? Watch this. Just a mess of stuff. So we'll come over here. I can't use my Lowe's brush because I kind of messed them up. watch this you can just come in here and soften this up and swirl it or whatever make it look misty back here but I, the most important thing I want to show you is I want to show you the this water line that I'm about to make I'm gonna soften this up real quick and I'll show you what I'm gonna do with that in a second all right maybe a little mist here possibly Mm -hmm. 
check this out. The, uh, <laughs> love doing that. <laughs> I don't normally do that on camera that much because that's what Bob did all the time. So when I, when I beat the hell out of this, I always say thanks, Bob. Thank you, Bob. You know. Um, I was supposed to, uh, I was supposed to be in Indiana, by the way, today, tomorrow, yesterday, but I had to cancel after I ordered the plane ticket, the room, all those things, had to cancel. So, making this video. All right, here comes the fun part, right? Here comes the fun part. Mm. That's a sad moment right there. Okay, here, here's the fun part. Candace, you're gonna like this. Ready for this? Watch this. I'm just like glowing at this point because now there's all kinds of stuff going on. We got JJ and Candace here. We got some pine trees. I got just all the ingredients for life to be good. All right, watch this. No, not that. Hold on. I just swatted myself and got, I didn't want paint on myself because then I'll. Okay, all right, ready? This is literally something that everybody else, I actually like this too, I just don't lead on that I really like it as much as I do. Watch. Okay, set it down. So this here, it just looks like whatever, right? You just see it, like it just, whatever. It's just color, a little bit of this and that, right? <clears throat> here we go, watch this. I'm gonna bring it to life so you can understand it in some water. So I'm gonna start here and we go. color wrap around it comes this way that way and then I, let me just grab some more of this shit right here so I start to make like these little things these little lines those are water lines and then hello this stuff's messy So what I wanted to do, that paint got a little thick. So I wanted to do this, a little bit thinner paint. See that water line back there? And then now he's got a double line. So he's he's in good shape. And then I come over to this side. And this guy disappears into the distance. And there's a little bit of it that wraps around there. You can't see too much because you know he's there though. But like it becomes this like cool entity you know and then I'm gonna separate them up a little bit and he goes back like this you see where I'm going with that you see where I'm going? right right and then uh, it just gets how many people do you know that are like I use see all the paper towel rolls I'm using it once and then I forget where one is so I grab the other one but I can tell you like even people watching this video here they know you should, like when I started, I wasn't like this. I was more down into the dumps when I started this video. Yeah, truth, truth be told. You know, and then I start doing this. And then my life is fixed instantaneously. Is that a word though, for real? Oh, instant. Instantaneously, is that a word? I painted that, that mountain with a roll of tape on video the other night. With this roll of tape. I was watching the mural. The mural. I that one over there? Yeah, I was watching that. Yeah, I, I gotta finish that up and I didn't I didn't I was gonna pick up on that today, but that's just like too much responsibility for my life right now. You know, I want something where I can handle. Like something like this. Like check this out. You know what, let's do this Lowe's brush right here. He's looking pretty worn out. Yo, can you toss me one of those rolls of paper towels? Like these are no good now because they're down to the bare minimum. I can't use these anymore. Like I'll use them like to like for Chinese food and stuff. But these here, they're just, yep. And I'm still trying to get Bounty to send me paper towels. Who, Biba? Is that a Bebo? Bebo's at a music thing. Bebo? Bebo. Are they good? Oh man, look at me. Hold on. 
mess. All right, here's some fun, right? Some fun. All right, here, I'm gonna do some highlights on here. And then this is so much, this is gonna be so great because this is a really cheap Lowe's brush right here. Cheap, cheap Lowe's brush. Let me just do this real quick. I'm gonna move this color out of the way. So if you're worried about like, I did this the other day, like what tools to use, this is gonna show hopefully something here. So watch, I'm using a Lowe's brush. See that? Can you? Yeah, you can see that. So I don't need to hold this then. You get the point of what I'm doing. I'm just tapping it. Here we go. Here we go, this is fun. All right, so this is where I'm gonna separate the things, right? Watch this, so look. There's one hill, right? There's one, and this is just super easy stuff. Super easy, life changing things. There's another little baby hill, right? And then, then you gotta come up here and then we gotta figure out like, you know, this is a Lowe's brush. Don't forget, I never used one before in my life. Tap some color. So you start to identify like different areas of what's going on here, you know, like who's what and what hill goes where and all those things. Maybe there's a little you know, piece of land right there, right? There's a little guy right there. Right there. Krista, you don't have let me thank you, Krista. But you Krista's like my uh, she's like a personal assistant. She's like the lady that has the SWAT team outside of her house like waiting for somebody to leave a bad comment and she's gonna like send a crew of people to like go assault somebody or something. Thanks, Krista. Appreciate that. Okay. So look, I'm just using a Lowe's brush. This is, I mean, this is a cheap Lowe's brush, but you see where it's starting to, you see what I'm talking about? Like a little bit of that. Can you see that? You can see that, right? So that's that. Or like one of the things that I did in the other one was uh, the other painting. I just want to see something real quick so I gotta bring this together a little bit better. So like one of the things that um, you think would make sense is like, think about like reflections and stuff like that. So just super easy to do those. You just, you know, steal a little bit of that color that you had up here. I'm gonna just do the reflections with my fingers since my fingers right here. Just, you know, swat in some color. What the hell, I'll even do some here too. Like that. Okay, simple. Get some yellow. It's just got to be like indications. The, the shape and all that stuff is what makes a difference. Wipe that off right quick. Grab a brush and then watch. Just swap down. Give it a little extra love right there. Wipe it and just give it a swat and back and forth. All right, and then, so you have something happen in there, get the knife. Reflections are easy to do. You know, that's when I could come right here and just kind of, you know, square this up a little bit, fix our, you know, reflection thing. And then maybe, maybe this little water line goes out there. Maybe he's got a, like ripples here and there. There's like all kinds of stuff you can do. And now that you guys are sitting here, I get like excited. I'm like doing all kinds of stuff real fast. Just trying to show you like, you can, whip around the corner, put the perspective. Thank you, Sharon, and thank you, Star Stargazer. I appreciate you guys a lot. How does that look, though? Like, you see what I mean? Well, wait a minute, perspective is just a little bit off, so we gotta, in there. Thank you, guys, you guys are awesome. Appreciate it. <clears throat> He's got a double going. But you see, like, you just popped a few reflections in with, uh, 
your fingers. It's super easy to do. I'm worse than the kid over here. My fingers, though. Oh my goodness. And I got it everywhere. So you could just do this, like make little things. You know what I mean? Just it looks real. Like no, it doesn't look real. I'm sorry. I'm not saying my thing looks real, but like other pictures when people do them that way, they look they look real. Like if you know what I mean. So here's the. Okay. So now this here is a two inch uh, brush. I'm just gonna just give this little swat right there, maybe back here, something like this, right? Just soften it just a hair. And then you could like put highlights onto this, right? Which maybe uh, maybe I'll just put one on so you guys can see. Like it's already pretty light colored on there, like it's nice and light. But you can take you could take. Uh, get a clean one like you can get straight like look at this, this is gonna be straight yellow right straight yellow and then think about like sun the sun shining right just like just a little you know you can't do this on the whole thing because you'll you'll really not sell the effect anymore you know you just got to get it in and hit and run like that see boom get it on there just like that you know, like, I'm just saying, like, that's an example. One spot there. Now, since we put it there, we just got to have a tiny bit there. Because the sun will definitely shine in a few more spots. Oh, yeah. Dude, I was so, I remember that. I would, like, for a little bit, I was, because I didn't know you back then. It was, we were so young. And, uh. If I would see you, I would hurry up and like run. He let me borrow an antenna and I lost it or something and I lost it. And every time he'd be like, where's that antenna at? Like he would come up to me <laughs> back in the day when, you know, hey man, we lived in a you know tough area. You know what I mean? How's that look? Pretty good so far? But uh, you could do like so many different things and, you know, I think this color would look nice here maybe just put it on with a knife you know a meadow oh that would be great right like a little I did I, you know what I'll put some little flower things up in the front I can do that I can do that the whole picture what you, I can do that I did one in Los Angeles. I did one of them, actually. I'm dead serious. First time I ever did that. So I think there needs to be a little bit of grass in this background here, right there. So that's pretty easy, because watch. You can actually just wipe this fan brush off right here. Sure not? A little bit more color on there, nice color. I'm going to put a little bit of yellow ochre in there, too. All right. Let's do, let's see, let's watch this. I'm gonna do the, like, subtle, 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 subtle. How do you pronounce that? It's spelled with a B. It's, you know, subtle, subtle. No, I'm just getting subtle background. Some words I don't know, but the ones uh, I make fun of myself. Do you see what I mean? Tell me you didn't see that. Like, do you see how that's just like, what was that, a couple, like a swipe or two? Not even, right? See, and then a little guy in the front here. But I'm just saying, like, it's little things like that right there uh, that makes the difference in your life. You know, and if you wanted to casually put a little, like, a highlight there, you can do that. And this, once again, this here, maybe something there, like this. You know, like, it's just, it's, she's, it's there, right? It's in the background. It's, there's not too much going on, but it's there, so. Um, so you ever make a tree branch trunk, tree trunk? Here's how, I'm going to put tree trunks in here, but first I got to sharpen the trees up. So you give them good points like that, see? Yeah, I hope he likes this. Little pointers there. I like the knife because it, uh, and then...
See, I always like doing this too. You scratch the hell out of these things because it works. Like little, there's little things that happen that you don't see right away, but later on down the road, you'll see them like little highlights and stuff. Think about the forest or trees. A sap green. It doesn't taste too bad. Um, like you think of the trees in the forest, like that stuff's going to be there, right? So I think, uh, I think uh, this old man would like tree trunks. So, all right, here we go. Let's just grab just some of this dirt right there and some brown. Okay. So I just got like a brown, grayed brown dirt color. And it works. And I'm just going to get some on there and see what we got here. These are like, also like, they don't really stand out in your face, but they are there. If you look, these things are in there. Maybe a little bit lighter on the other ones. Okay. Just pop one in. Right there, pop in there, there. And maybe do this. So you scratch the heck out of those things, and then and then it's pretty simple what you do after that. Like I don't want to see when I make these things. Everybody's different, but when I make these, I like the contrast of the dark versus the light. All right, so I'll put a little bit of highlight on here, right? Um, actually, let me just go over here and nice to see you. All right, come here. Just put that there. A little bit of paint thinner. I'm actually going to use real quick. This is uh, stuff's pretty bad here ruin your life so you want to stay away from this stuff as much as possible it's going to make a little bit of a lighter color just because if you think about a tree it's going to have different colors on it you know let me see what that looks like nope not bright enough a little bit more of that yellow in there Whew. strong paint thinner am i even still on yeah I'm still talking microphone still working okay so look, I'm going to just do this. Just a few areas, right? Add some color, just a few areas, just so you get the idea like, all right, yeah, it's a pine tree or whatever, or it's got different colored leaves and stuff. Yeah, nothing crazy. Because if you take all of the uh, contrast out, I don't know, it just doesn't look too good after that or something. Something weird happens, you know? So maybe something up on the top here. Now, once again, not too much here. And I'll show you why in a second. Because now is when I want to, I'm gonna grab a one inch brush here right quick. One inch. Got one right here. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to grab a one inch brush and then I'm going to do something cool here. I'm going to get some green, right? Green, and then maybe that. And then some yellow into that green, yellow ochre into there. Oh, yeah, that's just all kinds of colors mixed in there. All right, get this. <clears throat> Right there, so let me put, yeah, start right here. So I'm gonna go. In there, I need some more light. More light in my life. See, you just start making little, bring it forward, you know? You just bring it in forward. All right, some more yellow ochre in there. See, I'm just putting highlights on now, but they're not as bright as they are on that side. And what do I do on this side? Just come in, figure out where you wanna go, and then start you know right here and I'm just pounding the brush into the color and I'm touching and I'm just tapping and then I go back in and 
and just grab some more. This is super easy. All right, and I'm touching like lightly. I'm not like, I'm not like really going hard. It gives you the effect of plumpy, clumpy moss, right? Moss, you, you think of moss when you see that, right? See, nice little moss. And then we have a little section here. We wanna go so right there like that. So I just use yellow ochre, green, and uh, cadmium yellow. That's all that I'm using. So then I'm going to go just keep making these cool little things here, skipping areas, leaving a lot of the dark in there because that's important, right? And then get some more green up in here. For this one here, I want to make a nice little mossy one right there. It looks actual like moss. And you just keep on going here. It's, nice. it's still dark because there's not a whole lot of sun shining on here. And then... Uh, wipe this off real quick and then easily I can just uh, grab some of this liquid white stuff right here and find me I'm gonna go into some yellow I'm gonna make like a little flower thingy like a flower bush or whatever so let me get some more of that going here I think that'll work <clears throat> um, hold on just need a little bit more yellow in my life real quick and then we'll put a bush in. Yep, that'll work. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. That's pretty. All right, here we go. Little bush, ready? <clears throat> I'm gonna go right here, just oh, need more. Now these are like designed to go on top of like dark, which I have a little bit of dark there, right? There's a little bit of dark right there. And there's a lot of paint on here, by the way. See, it's like a little, that little lacy look, a little laced feeling right there. Yeah, that's a hell of a spot to put that bush. And I just used all that paint doing that little bush. I like bushes though, but you can add them everywhere. So. I'm gonna put one like, look, yeah, there's a little something right there. Now that's a bush. And then maybe there's one here. I should change the color occasionally. Let me do that. Yellow ochre. So now I'm just kind of like talking uh, to myself at this point. Like, not, I mean, you're here, I'm talking to you, but I like get to that habit sometimes where I just don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, talking to myself every day I talk to myself. And you know what? Let me get some of this beautiful little red color in here. John, thank you, bro. Thank you, Mr. Uh, yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Appreciate the donation. I always do. Um, let's do, you know what? Let's have a bush here, a little pink thing. Something there and then, you know, I don't know. Something there. Let's dull this color a little bit. We'll put some back here. So what I hope to do is, I can't deliver this to the hospital, so it's unfortunate they don't let you in. And I get that with the whole, you know, all the virus things happening in life, all that stuff. So just have to, you know, hope that, uh, I hope that I can, if he gets out healthy and all that stuff and I can just hand deliver it to him in a perfect world, you know? Time will tell, so. So I'm putting these little baby bushes way in the back there. See, they live there, you know, and then um, let me grab this uh, liner brush right quick here. Right, that is that, that's what you think too, you see that, right? That's the, if it's lighter, when you make something and it's light in color, even if it has a little blue in it, it makes it up here far away, you know, further away, I should say. So I just wanted to add a little bit of something right there, maybe a little, oh, that's a, that was a hell of a bump. I don't know what that was there, but we'll just say he had a rough night. And then, you know, little baby things. See, like when you add something that's like a little distant, you just, I'm like not tapping too hard or whatever, see? Just in the distance. And then 
Now I got a nice, beautiful mess going here. Let me do this because this looks like a good idea. I just feel like there should be a something right there. Yep, that's right. Swipe that off. Now, here's a cool thing to do. So, does anybody ever... When is he coming home? Oh, when, I thought... I was like, what? Um, you know? So, when is he... I don't know. I don't know when he's coming home, to be honest with you. It was very unexpected for him to go to the hospital um, as fast as he did. So, it's kind of like... It's, uh, you know, nervous. I, sh I am, I guess, is the right word. So, I don't... I don't really know what to say. But... I wanted to come here today because of the way that I felt and also, you know, I know he's, uh, he's never directly asked me for one of my pictures, but I know that he's always liked them, but he's never asked for one. So I'm just, uh, I'm just making him one. I'm going to take some, uh, paint thinner here and I'm going to, I'm going to make some like, uh, what is that color? Black. Yep, I'm going to make some nice little things real quick here. How many people struggle with making branches at all? Anybody? No? Doesn't matter? Okay, so I want to do something there, more paint thinner. Branches are fun to make or like little trees because it's like things like this that can really help your pictures come right to life, you know? It's like you put these little things in and then don't be afraid to cross the branches over. I see that a lot too. Like people get afraid of doing that, crossing it over. It's right. You know, branches should not, should not look uh, like perfect. They should be you know, they should be flawed, just like me. Very flawed. You want them to be like have flaws and nothing. If you ever see a perfect tree out there in nature, stay away from that son of a gun. Because uh, he's got something up his sleeve. Mm -hmm, that's good. Oh, you out? You out? Okay, homie. All right, homie. Oh, wait, I don't want to. No, you're good. You're good. Yo, bring it in. Bring it in, bro. Nah, no, nah, none of that shaking stuff. Bring it in. Come on, Pete. Come on, over here. Bring it in, mama. Good to see you. Glad you stopped in. Oh, yeah, that's cool. I'm packing. We're good. When he comes in, it's just, you know. Yo, thanks for stopping by. Seriously, I'm dead serious. Yeah, no, that's cool. Yeah, get her home. Feed her. All right. Yes, thank you again. You should come by sometime. You should come by all the time. Dead serious. Okay. Bye. Some of the best people right there. Don't talk to many people, but they're, uh, they're one of them. Good people right there. just making some like these branches here and having fun you know I'm having fun doing this it's been a it's been a rough day like it's been a hard day you know it really has and just doing you know what I got to do but this is cool I'm having I'm I'm having a good time with this and and that's I mean that's it I'm just having a good time with this for real for real put a couple on this side too if you have trouble making branches okay you just gotta make sure you you know you're using enough thinner or enough something to you know to um am i even still talking yeah to uh thin it down make sure it's good and 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 uh thin down so i want to put something let me get some more paint on here i'm going to put a larger tree thing a bigger one right right here 
thing coming down and he's just like whew, nice to see right there just like that and then maybe a little bit thicker you know but uh, listen on a on a for real note if you uh, listen if you don't feel good or something like that listen kick on YouTube and find somebody's videos find mine or any I'm not just saying watch my videos but there's other people you got Bram there's Nick you know there's a bunch of other people out there go watch some videos and make some stuff I guarantee you it's gonna help you feel better just in general you know so another branch right there But I'll tell you, one of the things you could do to help me is you could share the video, you know. You could hit the thumbs up button, stuff like that, you know. Stuff like that helps, you know. And if you are somebody who wants to help, that's what you can do to help me. You can hit the thumbs up button, hit the like, you know, share it, all those things that we say in every video. It doesn't cost anything to do that, but it pushes the video to other people. And... I always like to do or think like this. What if, what if there's somebody out there that needs to see the video? You know, what if there's somebody out there that desperately could use this one of these videos? And let's say you share the video, and that's the only way that they ever see it. You know, so I don't know. Just a thought. Steve, thanks, brother. Thank you, man. You are appreciated, my friend. Always. And I'll talk to you uh, in a little bit. All right, I'm going to wipe this liner real quick, and then I'm going to maybe get um, a little bit of a light color here. Just some white, some dirt, mud. Just a light color is all it is, okay? And maybe put a few little, like, you know, highlight things on here. Like, watch. Just right there. Maybe this way you guys can see where this darn tree, <laughs> where the edge is to this tree. Oh, you didn't have to do that. You, I know you said you came in late, but come on. Like, come on. I saw that comment. You came in late. You didn't have to do that. Thank you, though. You guys are great. You see, part of my crew, part of my crew is in here, you know? All you guys are awesome. It's like a little family, you know? It really is. I'm grateful. I'm grateful for that I woke up this morning and that I uh, that I can breathe I'm grateful for so many different things it's uh, I could go on for hours put a little highlight on this guy here just, just doing whatever see when you use a lighter color it helps you identify if there's like a branch or something like that. <laughs> and then since I have this color here, I think I'm gonna try to, uh, see I'm gonna take the liner brush and drop some of this color in like this and then try to turn that into a, uh, you know, a couple of rocks or whatever. So there's the liner on that one, and then we could just go ahead and take uh, I don't know, a little two-inch brush, I suppose, and probably just, just get a little kind of wand over top of it, you know, something like that. Thanks, Bob. Um, let's see. Let's see. It could be a rock. Maybe not. Here, real quick, one of the things that I see, I'm looking at this, and I try to make adjustments 
after I step back and have a look, <coughs> excuse me, at the paintings and I think, you know, what does it need? Does it need anything? Um, just make a little bit of room here. I just want to take the knife here, right? And I'm going to throw, I want to throw a little dark color back in here. Yo, Joey, what's up, bro? I just think, I see you in there, man. I see you. Man, I'm lucky I saw you. I don't know, uh, sometimes I miss a lot of these comments, but uh, glad I saw that, man. Glad you're up. Glad you stopped by. Glad you stopped by, man. Yo, I'll call you in a little bit, man. I was, no, I was just saying like a bunch of, uh, yeah, I, I'll just, I'll talk to you. I'll text you or something. The, uh, the old man is in the hospital and uh, it's, uh, it's, it's been a weird day, bro. It's been a weird day. It's on, honestly, just something's, uh, it's been a weird day, man. So just uh, de-stressing my nerves out is what I'm doing. And uh, this is how, this is how I do it and it works. This is how it works. about what feels right something there yeah I'll text you dude I'll text you for sure man always like uh, always like when you when you're here though you know and uh, got to catch up, see what you're up to, man. I wish you would start a YouTube channel just to make some of those pieces. Okay. I just wanted to put some dark color back in because some things just have too much light in them. And uh, that's okay, but back to everything has to feel right to me. And, you know, sometimes these things can lose sleep over stuff like this so just uh doing my thing do my thing as i look <laughs> yeah I guess the point is, is um, it did what it's supposed to do. I guess that's the point. I don't know. I don't know. I just know that a couple things. Well, I don't claim to know anything. But the thing is, like, this uh, stuff is, uh, this is good to have these kind of things because whether... You know, I know a lot of people think that the work that I do is nice, you know, and I'm not in any way, shape, or form bashing myself, but I, I don't care for my own work as far as uh, quality when you uh, compare it to some other artists. I, I don't care for my own work. Um, but what I do care for in that sense is that when I look at one of the things that I make, it uh, it reminds me of a lot of things, and that's what I look for. I, I don't, when I say quality, I'm talking about compared to other people out there that are much you know much better but my work is about something different it's not about quality it's about quality of life is what it's about which is a really important thing um, and I say it over and over again because it's true <clears throat> you want to save a life spread this out to somebody get them to start painting uh, inspire somebody to pick up a paintbrush if you want to save a life that's how you can do that you can save much more uh, than that as well. You can save somebody's day. You can change somebody's attitude. You can do a lot of different things. It's it's super important, you know. And I just I hope you guys know this. I, you know, I hope you know this. You know, the people that are here watching, obviously, um, you know something. Or, uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe you're here for, you know, for another reason. I'm not quite sure. You know, but well, I'm just going to make an adjustment here to this for just one second anyways 
I had fun. I had fun making this picture. That's for sure. I had fun making it. Now to get some of the paint off of my freaking, uh, off of my hands. Just do me a favor. Here's what I would like you to do. If you do not mind, this doesn't cost anything either. Um, I'm going to pop this uh, outro song on here real quick. I want you to do me a favor. In the comments, uh, both Facebook and YouTube, I'll go back and read these when I'm done. Leave me a, uh, a name. What should I name this? Honest to God. It's for my father-in-law who's in the hospital. He's sick. Not with COVID either. Um, what should I name it? Tell me a name of this. And I'm going to uh, just kind of, you know, go from there. I'll stand. I'll look at some of the names here for a minute. Um, and then we'll just move from there. But I'm going to... Let me see here one second here. What do I got going on? I got to switch this song up real quick. So, give me a second. And I want some names. I want some names in the uh, in the comments, please. If you don't mind. All right, so that's it. No, I wanna, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and do all the things. And uh, I will see you in the next video. I'm going to hang out for a few minutes, play some music, and uh, wait for your response. That's about it. I love you guys. You know, seriously, this is, uh, this is all, this is no joke, none of this stuff. I try to joke, but it's no joke. So, all right. I love you guys. Stand by and uh, give me some names quickly because I need them, like now. I love you guys. Nothing ever comes to me yeah, in a steady stream, but you gotta keep on going, you gotta live that dream, I know I ain't supposed to feel it, but oh how it feels, but nothing ever comes
You gotta live that dream